Hi, Miko. Hey, hey. How's it going? I'm sorry I couldn't stream on Tuesday. I told you guys I would stream in the morning, but I ended up degening too hard the night before because it was my friend's birthday on Monday, so... We're just calling on Discord until 3 a.m. And because I slept at... Actually, well, the call ended at 3 a.m. I ended up sleeping at 4 a.m.-ish, and then I just... Yeah, I just could not... I could not stream on Tuesday. I'm sorry. But here we are now. We're here. We're here. Hi, Holy Guardian. Hi, Miko. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I already said hi, Miko. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't get much sleep last night either. I actually didn't. I don't know why. My, my, my dumb, dumb brain keeps on sleeping at 3 a.m. So I slept at 3 a.m. again and I woke up at 8. <laughs> but yeah. Today, guys, I want to train my Aaron to 269. I didn't realize that I was this high in my EXP bar. I mean, I'm at 75%, man. So getting to 269 shouldn't be hard with haste. I fully expect to not get any burning maps. Um, aside from the burning maps here, because we're in burning, burning Cernium. <laughs> get, okay, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play my EU character at all today. Because I do want to hop into Hogwarts Legacy. I decided kind of like last minute that I was going to get it and just play it. So that means Cyberpunk is going to be on hold. I mean, technically I haven't played Cyberpunk in two weeks anyways. But Cyberpunk's going to be put on a hold. We're going to finish Hogwarts Legacy first. And then we'll probably go back to Cyberpunk. I mean, I say probably because... We might not, but I definitely, my current brain right now, on February 9th, 2023, I do want to finish Cyberpunk eventually. I do. But anyways, let's get into the training, yeah? Is your birthday today? Oh, happy birthday, Holy Guardian. What a coinkadink. My, because my friends is like, was on um, the 6th? Rolling on boxes or not? Uh, oh yeah! Okay, so I did check out the Valentine's Day box. Um. Yesterday off stream. And there were some things that I thought were kind of cute. I am broke as heck though, so I can't. I, oh wait, I'm wearing the wrong thing. I was like, why isn't it working? It's because I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, wait, there's a regular... Oh, shoot. I didn't realize there's regular PSSP and then the Valentine's Surprise dial box. I was looking at the Valentine's one and I'm like, it's kind of cute. Wait, what about the regular one? Is it cute as well? Oh my god, this hoodie is so flipping cute. I don't really care much for the hat, though. Why am I poor? Kind of like this bow, too. Looks nice with my hair. Crystals in Genshin, despite being broke. <laughs> hey, man. Now you gotta go to Starbucks and get your free drink as well. And wherever else. Also, I like this pedal. This is nice. Oh, there's a white version. I like them both. Why am I so broke, man? Damn it, I should have been selfish. Should not have... I regret giving my giveaways, man. My giveaways... I could have been rolling right now. I'm, I'm joking. It's okay. Oh, no way. I've been wanting these ears since a millennia ago. Dude, these are my OG, OG, OG NX hat. This right here is my childhood. This is the definition of my childhood. My ex used to call me bunny because I would wear these rabbit ears. Like my Maple Story X, sorry. And I didn't wear these ears in real life, but in Maple Story. No way. Oh, now I kind of want to roll. Shoot, I don't like any of these though. Man, I, I can't roll. I don't have an X. Hopefully, you get my Beam Brigade NX soon. I'll do a box or two. Hi, Jen. Hello, hello. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is 10, 17 a.m. for me right now, so it's very early. 
for me once again. Are you guys enjoying the morning streams? Hopefully. Um, cheese Danish. Mm, I've never tried Starbucks's cheese Danish. Get your free drink for your birthday and got another free drink because of stars. Dude, the last time I had Starbucks was mm, maybe pre-pandemic. For sh actually, I think so. I never even went to get my free drink. I should. I should. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't know why I asked. Now I feel insecure streaming at this. No, I'm joking. I I've been enjoying it because I feel like a normal human for once in my life. You know, like I, I'm not sleeping in super late, and I'm actually like, I feel like I'm being productive right now just by streaming. Okay, before I actually get into my training, I just want to say one more thing. Vin, thank you so much, Pog Stream. Welcome back for 19 months. Thank you. Um, I am... I don't know if... Uh, I guess it's a sponsorship, right? If I got gifted this for free. But, um... I'm not being paid by the OD or anything. They did send me this for free, though. I want to clarify that. So I'm currently wearing this very, very giant hoodie. That is extreme. Look at how far down it goes. It is super big, man. But it's so warm. I actually love it. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Like, look! It's so fluffy! It's so cozy, man! It's so warm! And then there's like this big, giant pocket here, and it also is lined with fur as well. Or whatever this is called. It's so nice. Um, this is this is an Udi. Um, so that's why I just want to clarify why I have hashtag Udi in my stream title. Um, it's because they sent me this Udi. Um, and if you guys are interested, there's all the links and whatnot. And I have a code of theorists. I don't get anything from the code, but you can at least get discounts off your Udi if you want it. And, um, they're currently doing a sale right now, though. So my code only works for original price, but and so the sale is actually better than my code, so. Uh, but yeah. Okay, let's get into train. Let's get into training. I, the, I, I'm not gonna lie, this might be, like, one of my favorite collabs I've done, because <laughs> I know for a fact I'm gonna wear this 24-7. And I have. I got this on Wednesday. Tuesday. I got this on Tuesday and I haven't really taken it all. Except to go pee. Because I don't want to pee on it. I don't know why you guys need to know that. But in case you did want to know that, you now know that. You know? So yeah, you're welcome. Alright, I'm just going to stop talking and look for an MVP now. If there is one. Otherwise, I'll self-MVP. I only have three self-MVPs, though, but... I should be able to level within an hour, I think. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, Falcon. Nah, there's no MVP. Dang edge. Okay, I'll self-MVP, and then we'll grab the regular MVP... Or public MVPs when they show up. Facts that everyone needs to know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, of course. Also, okay, one more thing. Sorry, I need to clarify my hair is wet, not greasy. I just came out of the shower. That is one last thing I want to clarify. Now I'm done. I'm done. Hmm, do I want to use a wap wap? A wap a do wap? I mean, I have so many, but I don't want to train for two hours. I mean, I guess I don't have to train for two hours, you know. I just... I might pop it, actually. Because I think I'm going to do an hour of training. Hi, Conspiracy. 25% in an hour? Yeah, that's true. I might have to train for an hour and a half, actually. I do have three self-MVPs, so that would be enough for... Th uh, what three um uh, sorry an hour and a half of training
I can start you off with an MVP if you want. Oh my god, no! It's okay! I forgot I have a public MVP myself. Actually, does anyone want MVP? I can do an MVP for us. Y'all want MVP? You have 30 atmospheres? Are you like MVP Beyond Red? Okay, sorry. Channel 1 in 30 seconds. Wait. Monkas? Here, guys. Actually, I'll I'll do mine, okay? Phasma, when? I was thinking about it this morning. I think we might not do it for a hot minute, just because, uh... <sighs> um, what? Hogwarts? Oh, God. I don't know when I'm gonna get around to it. Oh, no, I only have one more EXP accumulation potion. No, I lied. I have more than that. Okay, we're fine. Um, let's buy three of these and- Oh wait, does this even stack with fams? It does, right? I don't remember. Yeah? Okay. Why do I just feel like I don't remember anything about Maple Story? Okay, let's go channel 19 Mushroom Shrine. I'll do a private MVP for us. I'll pop it at, um... Ooh, the 28, 27 minute mark. How about that? Channel 19, 27. If anyone wants MVP. Might be myself only and that's okay, you know? Just trying to help out whoever wants MVP. How do I sit on my chair? Oh, you're welcome. How do, where's my chair? I don't know. I have too many chairs. I don't know where my 250 chair is. Does it not exist? That's here. Oops. XX27. XX Emily 97 XX. XX Emily 27 XX. Uh, how's this patch for new players? Uh, so currently there is an event called Super Haste, and it's good for training as well. So, yeah, you just missed Hyper Burning, which there will be another one in the summer. I don't think it should, just because you missed, you know, the first one, I don't think it should stop you from playing. There's currently a training event happening right now as well. Um, I don't know if you'll benefit too, too, too much from it. Or an overabundant amount from it, like us established folk, but it's good nonetheless. I would say. If you know what I mean. Yeah? You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Glad we're on the same page. Oh, wait, I should change this. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to. Perfect. It's for nostalgia's sake. I mean... Definitely, what the? <laughs> Sorry, I just got an email. It scared me. <laughs> I just got an email from like, I don't know if it was a scam or not. Copyright warning dot PDF. YouTube support shared a file with you. What does that mean? Is that a scamaz? I'm not gonna look at it until after the stream. Now I'm scared. What did I do? Is it because I played that freaking one Maple Story? Dude, I played this like one Maple Story animation. Oh god, is it 27? Oh, that's a daddy. So there's one maple story animation and then I got copyright striked. So now I never want to play any maple story animations ever again on my stream. Anyways. Happy hasting. 
in a minute. Wait, I didn't even find a map. Why the hell am I popping? And if, you know what? It's fine. Too late. Can't back out now. No problem. Good luck, y'all. Good luck. What channel? It's too late. It's too late. I'm sorry. It's on 19. 10%. Hi, Turk. If there's no burning, should I even, like, bother searching for one? You know, I'm just gonna quickly roam around here. Is 10% the best we're gonna get? I do wonder... Like, what's better? I mean, I guess haste with burning. Uh, haste without burning is better than no haste with 100% burning? I actually don't know how it works. Let's pop that, 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 that. Bam. Boom. Pizzazz. Blah. Wee. Can I one shot? Okay. Wait, I should use my haste, right? I don't know what's the best way to do this. I guess start it. Is there a hotkey to just uh, maybe that's not a good idea. I was gonna say, is there a hockey to just start the boost so I don't have to open the UI, but maybe not a good idea. Oh my gosh, it's laggy. When I'm on a rune. Well, I'm doing that right, at least. Perfect. Is anyone else training? What are your training goals? I know conspiracy's trying- Wait, what level are you conspiracy right now? No, I know you're not training, Vin. You are the one single person I expect to not be training. Hit 300. That's your goal. With haste. Within haste, I should clarify. <laughs> You're 271. Conspiracy has a goal of getting to uh, 280 within two weeks of haste. And he's currently 271. Y'all think he can make it? What's training? Never heard of it. I don't even know why I'm pushing 270. I'm not gonna- I have no plans on starting BM, but I- I mean, it'd be- actually, no, it'd be really cool to start my hotel dailies, or at least get that symbol. I think I'm gonna definitely be too weak to train at hotel. I need G skills. Having no pants really hurt, dinked my damage bad. Then you saw the rest of patch notes. Saw Neo Tokino would not have cool stuff. Oh man, I actually did not read the patch notes. So other than Neo Tokyo, were there anything substantial to read? Like, is it worth the read? Cause your girl also lazy, I don't really want to read. Why not do BM? Cause I don't have pants and also I haven't been doing C10 bosses so I don't really have too many keys. I mean I have 9 keys but... I also just don't want to find a party and commit to a party right now. Like, there's just a... 
I think there's just a lot that you kind of have to commit to when you start doing BM. And I don't have that commitment level available in me right now. Does normal Tenny give keys? I wonder if I can solo normal Tenny. Hi, Medic. Hi, Dim Sum. Sparks. What does V Hilla give that's different? Oh, yeah. Wait, what's an enjoyable mobbing class? Easy, not annoying. Oh, no, I personally think... La okay, Lara is a fantastic mobbing class, but I personally think it's annoying. Annoying. Because you ha it's, there's a lot of, like, micromanaging. Because you're putting down summons, and that's where you, pretty much the entirety of your mobbing comes from. Um, and so you, you're just constantly, like, re refreshing those summons and placing them in optimal positions and whatnot. If you want lazy good mobbing, I would suggest Dawn Warrior. The revamped Dawn Warrior. I mean, I even pre-reworked Dawn Warrior was really good with mobbing because of that one FMA skill. You literally stand in one spot for like 20 seconds and it'll take out the entire map. Or at least what you can see on the map. Dawn Warrior is stupid easy good mobbing. Yaelchun, thanks for the follow. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Well, Buck's pretty nice too, yeah. Buck, you also just kind of like walk around and things are dead. Because of the, the, the little aura that follows you, whatever that- The serpent. The serpent. Don't get cancelled, Emma. Uh... Yeah, guys, we're gonna be playing Hogwarts after I level. Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I... I've watched Harry Potter movies two times, and I'm planning on possibly doing a watch party in the Discord for a third time. I don't know. Still thinking, because that is a lot of movies. Eight movies. <laughs> But anyways, um, I don't remember anything from Harry Potter for some reason. Like, I obviously know how it ends, right? Because I've seen it twice, but I don't remember. Dude, uh, Mellow Jello was talking about it with me yesterday. Because they also got it yesterday as well. And um, they were talking about, like, what house are you in? What Patronus are you going to pick? I'm like, dude, I don't know any houses except for Gryffindor and Slytherin. I don't even know the other one. What's a Hufflepuff and a, I think a Ravenclaw, they said? Oh, no. So we're going to take a little, like, test as well to see which house we belong in, which Pat Pat Patronus and wand and whatever. Um, yeah. Never read the books. I don't know what a book is. What is that? Movies are bad. I personally like it. You can obviously you're you're allowed to have your own opinion, but your opinion is wrong. I'm joking. Or am I? Um, no, I personally enjoyed it, but you know, everyone likes different things, of course. Yeah, Don Warrior is the one with the huge galaxies. Mental health? I- okay, Azkaban. That is the- the- the psychiatric ward or whatever, right? What do I think of Shades? I don't really have much of an opinion because I don't really play a Shade. I mean, I have one for the Legion block. I've not tried fifth job. Oh, it's a prison? Dude, see? I don't know! I don't remember anything from Harry Potter. I watched it twice. I don't remember. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't lying to y'all when I say I have bad memory, y'all. Um, I just know Shades have really good mobbing, yeah. Shades. 
yeah, shades are really uh, not mobbing. Sorry, bossing. I meant to say bossing. Yo, red. Ra imagine not being two seventy. I know. I've let you surpass me. Thank you so much for the twenty one months, man. Welcome back. No, 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 I did not mean to say, I did not mean to say Shade is good at mobbing, I meant to say bossing. Bossing. Pretty sure Shade Discord still doesn't let people join. Oh, do they only want mains? I mean, that's understandable. Some people do ask, like, really stupid questions that are readily available in the FAQ, and it's just... I can understand how it might be possibly annoying to answer things that are readily available. Merc Discord's cutting down on those allowed. Huh? The Mercedes Discord? Who even plays Mercedes? Why would anyone... Dude, if anything, Mercedes should be, like, welcoming people. Like, please, for the love of God, come into our Discord. It's so empty here. It's like a desert. Even though y'all live in the forest, them trees are dried up because there's no one to water it. <laughs> trees. Yeah, because trees need watering. Hi, Heavy. Hello, hello. You actually have a lot? Maybe because of the link skill, yeah? That's uh, surprising. Aaron's don't have many, I think, in the Discord. I don't know, actually. because of links wait people actually just want to play it don't allow those going for links oh because of the burning of it oh welcome back to maple story heavy hope you've been enjoying it how are errands Fan freaking tastical. It's only the best class in Maple Story. Uh, no bias or anything. <laughs> but we do constantly get buffed. I have only witnessed one nerf of recent memory, and that was like two years ago or something like that, when they made our burst a little too strong. So it was just nerfed a little bit. But otherwise, Aaron gets nonstop loving from both me and Nexon, as they deserve. Oh no, Maple Story. Yeah, mobile is extremely different. Like the entire gameplay, it's it's just really. If you're gonna play Maple Mobile, don't expect it to be anything similar to PC. Treat it as an entirely different game. Treat it as Maple Story 3. Treat it as Maple Story 0.5. Because Maple Mobile does not deserve to be called Maple 3. <laughs> At Savior, we don't get a buff, but a QOL. I say QLs are buffs. Tech. Maybe not technically, but you know what I mean? It's like Beyond Blade being changed to this isn't necessarily better for bossing, but it's. Oh my god, it's so good. What's the point of the link option? It's to get reward points, but they made reward points entirely useless, so there's like not even a reason to uh <laughs> to uh link Maple Mobile to PC. There's literally no reason to get more reward points, like unless you're on reg server, sorry. If you're on reg server, then maybe y'all have stuff you want to buy. Like, I know 
their scissors and whatnot, but if you're in reboot, nah. There's like no reason. Oh. What's a super booster? Do you guys know? Oh my god! What's the special mission? Is it- what do you get from it? Five times EXP? Chair and title. Ooh. Oh, the title that gives 10% XP? That one? No EXP on the title. Oh, it's for bossing. Okay, I see. I see. 119 to 131. Holy. Okay, so I, I assume uh, Super Boost is just increasing the mob spawn rate, right? No. Oh, so you use Super Booster and the Booster together? No? Okay. Okay, it's okay. Never mind then. Never mind. I see. I see. I get it. I get it now. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Did anyone manage to cap before reset after maintenance? Oh god, I have to wait for another room before using it, actually. Was impossible? Yeah, I figured, but... No. Wanted to see if anyone was a super giga chad. Because, yeah, there's like a... There was like 35 minutes. Like, I got on Maple Story 35 minutes, or maybe even, yeah, 35 minutes before reset. And then I went to use the washroom. And then I just forgot about it. Like, I went to the washroom and then I went upstairs and then I was talking to my parents. And then I come down and an, an hour later, and I'm like, oh, wait, I was gonna try to do this. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. How long have I been playing Maple for? Since 2006, on and off. Hi, Melissa. Oh my god, I forgot clover capping's a thing. No, I'm not talking about clover cap. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> I forgot the clover event still here. Shoot. Uh, I don't even know how many clovers I have. Crap. Crap. <sighs> 2006, that's impressive. I don't know if impressive is the word you would use to describe that I've been playing Maple Story for over half my life. You know, I'm I'm almost 26. Um and Maple Story has been my life for over half of it and it will very much soon become um three quarters of my life, which is actually extremely sad to talk and say out loud, but yeah. Um, I don't know if I would say impressive, really. I really would. Means I'm a maple pro. I mean, it depends on you know. Professionals are good in certain aspects. You know, you can't be professional in like all areas in Maple Story. 
is such a huge game with a bunch of different systems and mechanics. But yeah, I, c I could say I am a professional at MapleStory if you consider booming a profession. Um, then yeah. I would say I am a MapleStory professional. I, I really would. I would. Melissa, welcome back for 15 months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Try your tech. Scream? Dude, if I tried your tech, I would have no voice to stream again. Ever. <laughs> How many booms do I have? I have no idea. I would check the achievement, but... More rights. I hit 22. I didn't scream at it prior, though. How do you use Lucid emotes? Uh, so... In your chat tab, press escape- or sorry, press enter so that you can... I'll show you. Well, essentially here. Right? Is, is it chat command, I think? Nope, I like. Oh wait, yeah it is. Chat emoticon. There. Chat emoticon. You only really want Magnificent. Um... Souls. Hearth, you should do whatever you want to do, but Lynx and Legion will greatly benefit your account overall and your main character. Lynx and Legion boost your damage immensely, and not just your damage, but your QOL and other aspects like the amount of EXP you earn. Um... You know, when you die and revive fr in a boss fight, you'll have some iframes, stuff like that. Okay, so I should use my super boost now then, yeah. with my rune on. True, reg lucid souls are good, but on, on mages only, right? This EXP looks insane. I mean, yeah, look at that. Holy crap, it's going up fast. I should probably use my uh, summons and stuff, eh? Should probably pop out all the tools I have. Mihal training too boring, is it? I haven't really played my Mihal. Aaron is fun. That's why I say ABC. It do be fun. I don't say it for no reason. Damn, you're already at 80%. Uh, 25 minutes in, I got 6%. Nice. There will be another burning event in the summer if you missed out on the 
last one that just happened. Don't worry. Yeah, um, my goal is to get to 270 during haste. That is the ultimate goal. Today's goal is to get to 269. Um, and then, you know, I don't know when... I might stream tomorrow as well. We might be seeing a little bit more streams now because of, firstly, haste, but also because of Hogwarts. So I always want to play Maple Story, do a little bit of Maple in first, and then move into Hogwarts, which is what we're doing today. But yeah. How often does the burning event come around? Well, that was the first time it's ever happened. And now the second time that it's going to happen is in the summer, so it seems like half a year so far. Yeah, I did chapter one of Neo Tokyo. I didn't realize when I accepted Neo Tokyo, it was going to be like a whole entire um, thing, you know? I thought it was going be, gonna to be like ignition, you know, like a couple cutscenes, maybe like five minutes worth or something, and then... You have an event map, you coin cap, whatever. Bruh, I was in there for like half an hour. <laughs> it's on every character? What? Wait, so every char- What? <laughs> Wait, so you can get those chapter one rewards on every character? Hi, Mikey, thank you. Did you guys hear the voice acting though for neo tokyo it sounds really good but like yo know, she talks so much she sounded so good in the beginning and near the end i'm like i never want to hear your voice ever again ever <laughs> like please for the love of god stop talking or i'm going to go mental <laughs> i mean the story might have been good i don't know i really wasn't reading I was legit. I think I was using Reddit on the side while, like, during the parts where you couldn't skip. It's just on Reddit. In the wash. No, I never open the door for random people, anyways. Hate mage classes. Which mage are you playing? Bishop. Are bishops that squishy? I still haven't tried reworked bishop. The wheel didn't want me to. Wouldn't have minded making bishop my first character, but also I don't really regret making Kane my first EU character because uh Kane's strong. Oh my god, guys. It is so weird. So I have a VOD channel for, uh, for all my streams. If you guys don't know, it's Aetherus VODs. Anyways, so I posted my EU VOD um, where I start my EU journey. I spin the wheel, yada, yada, yada. Someone comments on it and asks, uh, why do people do things that aren't productive? Like, why do people play on random servers? And then so I responded... I mean, it's a video game, right? So, you know, I'm just doing what I enjoy playing, and if, like, playing on the EU servers are fun to me, so that's why I'm gonna play it. I need to read you guys their response, because I think someone hurt them, like, a lot. They need some loving. Um, it's, it was actually so bad. I have to find it. It was... I just don't even understand. I don't know if they're trolling, or if they genuinely need help. I mean, it was funny. It's funny to read, but... Okay. I have it on my phone, because I deleted him. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought if you hide someone from your YouTube channel, you'll still be able to read their stuff as a... 
creator but no but good thing youtube emails me whenever someone comments so i have this saved forever they specifically said that's uh not how that statement works so my again i said that i i said that it's a video game and video games are meant to be fun and so playing on the eu servers is fun for me so anyways he says that's uh that's not how that statement works people play games on how they're meant to be played you maplers just love wasting time so again why do you people play on random servers either give a legit answer or shut the fuck up and don't try being snarky <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, bro, you good? <laughs> you good? Like, that's what I mean. I think this guy needs some love because someone hurt him in his past life and his current life. It's so crazy. <laughs> Anyways. But how is restarting fun, actually? It, I am the type of person who enjoys restarting. Um, so let's take a survival game, which is uh, where I do it most prevalently. Whenever I replay a survival game, I don't start back on my super end game file that I had from uh, several years ago. I always like to start new, or even if I stopped playing a game and then I started playing it like three months later or whatever, I like to start new. I really like the beginning process of things. It's just fun to see. And then especially since I started this account uh, when Reboot first came out, which is in 2015, uh, it's very interesting to see how players nowadays progress versus how you know, I progressed back in 2015. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Thank you, Conspiracy. Sinking over two keys on something, then being like, I want to start over. But I don't think you people understand that it's not starting over, it's just a side project. You know, it's like for fun on the side. Like, yeah, maybe you don't like it, that's fine. You don't have to start a new account on EU, you don't have to start a new account at all, Sora. That's fine. I find enjoyment out of it, and that's all that matters, right? Go to your first school lecture, don't bother with the other ones because you are starting over on a new topic is basically his argument. I mean, I guess, I don't know. But it's also like, what is the, when, when that person said, um, like, people play the game how it's meant to be played. Is there even a way that MapleStory is meant to be played? MapleStory is not a linear game right you have so many paths to take and so many different options for you to choose on how you want to play the game so why is the only path that it's that's acceptable to these people um oh my god 50 percent. let's go what the frick why is the only acceptable path to only play one account and to only do things that are quote-unquote considered productive. Why is that the only acceptable way to play a video game when it's, like I said, it's a video game? You know, just do what you think is fun. Some people like to do every single quest in the game because it's fun to them. Um, it provides absolutely no benefit to their account whatsoever, but it's fun, right? So. Let them do them. Uh, f uh, yeah, free market isn't a thing anymore. There's an auction house for regular server. 
Yeah, it's true. Some people stay in Hennessy's for fun. That's true. That's what I did from 2009 to 2014. Pretty much. I think 90% of my gameplay was literally sitting in Hennessy's. That's true. That's like, yeah, that's actually so true. That's like braiding someone for just sitting in Hennessy's and whatnot. Like, you know, I'll just let people do what they want to do. Is that even playing me? Oh, no. Are you gonna really gatekeep how people play a video game? That's like the equivalent of someone saying, Oh, you play on, uh, you play on, uh, mobile. You play video games on mobile? You're not a gamer then. I used to be that person. I used to gatekeep what was considered playing a video game. And when people would tell me that they played on mobile, I was like, oh, that's not gaming. <laughs> um... I used to be one of those losers that would just gatekeep people from doing things. Just let people do what they want to do, you know? It's it's fun. And you are high out of your mind. If you think that socializing on MapleStory is not considered playing the game, that was like what, I want to say, over half the population of MapleStory pre-Big Bang did. Are you going to say there were over half of the people weren't even maple story players even though they were play literally playing maple sitting in henny is more afk than farming no but i mean if you're afk you're literally afk but people sit in hennessy's and actually socialize you know if you're afk and you're literally not at the computer i mean yeah, no, you're not playing the game, right? Like, just by definition, you're literally not at the computer. How is that? Playing. By definition. Obvi I think... I think when you when someone says that they're in Hennessy's, you kind of think a little bit, and you're like, oh, yeah, they're, like, actually at the computer with Maple open, and they're using Maple, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try to change to 270. Also, Mako! Thank you for the two months. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome back. First time viewer with two months of subs. Let's go. <laughs> Personally, don't like how people rush new players to 200. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people on Maple Story that have, like, their, um... There are a lot of Maple Story players and just MMO players. Every video game has like these sweaty super tryhards that have like this set Bible that everyone has to follow. And if you don't follow how to play this, then you're not doing it right. Um, there's definitely people in Maple Story that exist like that. Obviously, the people who, um, like that person that. I read the YouTube comment from, but also there's just a whole community of them in Maple Story. We've literally seen people say that there was I, I remember like two years ago, someone someone soloed Black Mage, but it was after the final damage buff. And then there are these purists on Maple Story that said that they didn't solo BM because they did it after the final damage buff. Like, they were claiming that that's not a real clear... Like, there's always going to be purists and gatekeepers like that in any video game. And it's just so interesting. And it's just like... I, I just wish I could understand their thought process. You know? So, it's so weird. It's so weird. So weird. Yeah, the blue one is once a day after you claim all your dailies, I guess. Sounds like people that are upset you spaghetti they don't didn't solo be on themselves. No, these are these are I think they did solo it themselves, 
pre-final damage, which is why they're gatekeeping. Used to enjoy slow build to getting to 200, but now I just hate everything about it. I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but you have to also just accept and understand that there are people who do literally are ma legion mains. And you can't gatekeep that, uh, their place out. Seeing comments about people saying it's not really selling BM with domain and uh, Wild Hunter is. Wait, what's WH? Is that Wild Hunter? <laughs> yeah, I think a solo is a solo. Why gatekeep people in general? Certainly insecure to project their negativity. Oh no. I definitely agree. Say Crix didn't play the game correctly. No, no, Say Crix definitely with the I ain't even joking. There's something wrong with him. How can he get every single class like mechanic? Evan? Mercedes to 250? I can I can give him a pass on like other classes, okay? Yeah, two 250 Aaron, hell yeah, let's go. 250 Cadena, Night Lord, whatever. Let's go. But Evan? Out of all Evan? Nah. There is definitely something wrong with Sacred because he's playing the game wrong. No one should be touching Evan other than for 210 Link skill. That's it. That's it. You got a mech to 250 with your hyper burn? Why? Legion block, right? Buff duration or something? Uh, what class are you that needs that? I thought you would do like... Uh, do you already have crit damage? Legion blocks? Classes are probably more fun when you're one-shotting everything. I'm pretty sure I was one-shotting on my Evan because I... Dude, was that one point my main for like a second or two? But we don't talk about those dark ages, okay? It was like my most funded character ever at the time in 2015. And I don't know, man. I just. I don't know why. I just don't know what. Like, I know why, because it was top of the DPM charts, but like, how did I stand it? Is. Is my question. God. How did Sacred stand it? I don't I don't even think with the buffs and savior that Evan is getting, I would play it. <laughs> I just don't like the play style. But personally. Feels very clunky. Oh yeah, no. I got burned by it, Sora, which is why I suggest, and uh, no, I, I don't suggest, I, I tell people, do not play a class only because it's top of DPM charts because I have first-hand experience with that burning me. Um... You play Nightlord for big numbers, but do you also enjoy the class's gameplay and play style? Because I didn't enjoy Evan's play style at all. I just played for numbers. Like, it's a different story if you play for numbers and the play style. Burst and hide. I mean, that's like Maple Story in general, except for the consistent DPS classes, which aren't too many, right? Like, Maple is... Maple made everyone either a 2-minute or a 4-minute or whatever burst class because that is the meta they want people to play with. Burst and... or bind and burst. And then you just hide until your next burst. Right? Yeah, Evan... Uh, Aaron's 3 minutes, but you know. 
Can't decide between Aaron and Buck. Are they... Are they... As strong as each other for bossing? Um... I personally, I don't, I can't talk, comment on DPM wise necessarily, but I can say that I have an Aaron, obviously, I'm playing it. And uh, I have a Buck Bossing Mule. I personally like Aaron a lot more because we have Super Stance for our, our main attacks. And we have, uh, we have like three iframes. Buck has two iframes, but it's tied to their burst. Technically, one of our iframes is tied to our burst as well. But then we still have two others to fall back on. I just like Aaron's playstyle more personally. You have no hands that matters? Oh, yeah. No, I think if you don't have... Well, okay. It can be tricky. Aaron has combos that will probably mess you up um, when you're first starting, but once you get the hang of the combo... Because you can't hockey some skills, like your burst, you cannot hockey it. You have to press, like, down, left, down, attack, or down, right, down, attack to to proc your burst but once you get that down um should be it should be smooth sailing can you really fall back on freud's i mean no but at least you have a 30 second iframe is the essentially what I mean. You have a 30 second iframe, so while you're attacking and bursting, you have that. Mess around in Freud's like during FMA and BM. There you go. There you go. Keyboard can? My hands are- my cuticles are disgusting. You- there- you cannot have a keyboard cam. Oh my god, my Toronto vlog that I released. There's some parts where I'm like, oh god, my thumb is so ugly, but like, I have the ugliest fingers. I- I can't like, never not show my fingers on camera. Ugh. I'm insecure about my fingers. See me do the burst? I've been doing it on Elite Champs, my Hunter's Prey. Uh, I think Drowsy's requirements are like... Skyrocket high. Uh, I think... I think you have to be 270. I don't remember. I just know my mod tried to apply and he has to be 270 with like 6k legion or something. Not 8k, I don't think. Hi, Solana. It's just, uh, it's, it's really high. It's really, really, really high. Where did I get the wolf weapon? One of those surprise style boxes that I opened. Do I remember which one? Nope, because I wailed really hard during Black Friday and I kind of just bought everything. But it was a... I think it was the Black Friday box, actually. I don't know. I've opened too many boxes. It is really cute. It's just unfortunate. You see that, like, blue cone I'm holding? I can't get rid of that. That's the only unfortunate thing about this weapon, but otherwise everything else looks really... cute.
Really, really cute. Honestly, those Black Friday boxes are a really good deal. They're pretty damn cheap per box on average, and, uh... Some good items in them. One twenty three to two hundred, nice. Can't get boosters from mob drops. No, so boosters are only obtained through completing those like quests. Like kill ten elite champs and kill nine hundred ninety nine mobs, etc. etc. Make a shade. There, that's a burst, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I hear only good things about the bossing for shade and crit damage legion. Super boost streakings 20 times? Like, once a day, yeah? And how many days? 20 times? Are there even 20 days in the event? How do I use it 20 times? Wait, how do you... Oh, you can get boosters from mob drops? So that's why you can use it 20 times? But that's a KMS thing, possibly. How long do the boosters last? 100 seconds, I believe. Oh. Ben, I really don't like men. I don't even know why. Oops. That's not... It's not ending, sorry. Sometimes I'm... Oh my god! Ben? I wonder if he was abused by a man before we got him or something. Yo! Bennett, come here! Bennett! Come here! Good boy. I'm at 86. No glasses. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, hopefully your ears are okay. Sorry. Hopefully Bennett will stop. Your training party? Is your training party the... Just a bunch of people trying to get the 280. Version 2 Super Haste has the mob drop. Okay, so when does that happen? Just a bunch of people training together. Ah, oh, I see. Paying that word too. I use an ape. I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm excited. Tonight, 
I'm gonna have some chicken wings. Apparently, my Costco are uh, in my city. They're not gonna sell chicken wings anymore. So we got one last bucket before they go away. So we're gonna have that tonight. I'm excited. Does the ban word work? I just can't say it for five minutes. So sad. It's okay. They're not getting rid of poutine. If they got rid of poutine, I would probably find a way to leave this planet and go to another planet that has Costco poutine. Because that gives me life. There is no meaning without poutine. Oh my god! I just realized! The Super Haste Special Secret Mission thingy-majig needs you to kill a hundred thousand mobs! Dude! My blind ass, I thought that said 9,999. Not 99,000! Damn. Canadian Costco sounds dope. We're becoming... We're gonna have... Uh, we're slowly getting rid of options and becoming American Costco. However, hopefully Canadian Costco will never get rid of poutine, because then at least we'll always have a one-up. Wait, Americans don't even have ice cream, right? Do you guys even have, like, fries? We have Superstore, yeah? What about it? I don't think Superstore sells poutine. I don't think you can really compare your Superstore and Costco, actually. You're almost done 100k. Huh. It's insane. Thought Superstore was like Costco? No. It, I mean, it's a it's a grocery store, and it's got a bunch of other stuff, too, but... I don't... I personally would not consider Superstore anything close to Costco. Third WAP since update? Six hours? Wait, maintenance hasn't even finished 24 hours ago. You're six hours in, holy. Missed you doing six swaps the other day. You guys have a mental fortitude that I will never be able to match. I think I, I've done like four WAFs in one day, and that's my max. I'm fine, thanks. Azen! Is that a 20 minute delayed response? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're good. Uh... Weed helps? I don't do that. I don't smoke or eat or whatever. You know what we do do now? We do catnip because apparently this tea has catnip and... Oops, I just dropped some tea. This tea apparently has catnip in it. I've only ever drank one bag though. <laughs> You're doing five every day for two weeks? Don't burn out, man. How is it? Oh, no, it's literally... It, the, the, the tea is just called Cup of Calm, so it's calming, because there's, like, chamomile... Chamomile? How do you say it? Chamomile, lavender, and whatever else. I don't know, a bunch of stuff. I didn't read the ingredients until, like, after I drank my 
uh, my cup, and I'm like, wait, why is there catnip in this? I didn't know humans drink catnip. You were on the phone with your grandpa. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, shoot. Wait, I should be doing haste. No, my spawn, oh, my summon, my rune summon just ended, whatever. MVP channel 20, or uh, MVP channel 7 at the 28 minute mark. MVP channel 7, 28 minute mark. I'm going to use a self MVP because I just popped a rune. There's also one at 30 minutes. What, what channel? I don't think it can make t that one either. Yeah, Aaron nodes aren't bad, I don't think. Because you can mix and match. And also, are you just trying to do a bossing meal or are you trying to make it a, uh... Like a second main? Because if it's just a bossing meal, then you only have one set of trinodes. Final Blow, Beyond Blade, Hunter's Prey, yeah. You only need those if it's a bossing meal. The other ones are to help with my- I mean, if- If you want to go with like- If you want to min-max your, your mobbing trinodes, then you need a lot more, but- if you don't care about that, about mobbing, then it's just those three. Wait, I can wear my glasses now. God, my cheeks are so red right now, but I don't even feel like hot. I'm just... My cheeks are just really red! Why are they so red? Dude, my cheeks get red too easily. He doesn't mention- Oh, both- All my grandparents are dead, so no, I don't have that issue, Aizen. Too much booze. Yeah, I caught me! My Asian glow exposed me. Rip. Asian glow out here t telling people that I'm an alcoholic. Thanks, man. Thanks, genetics. Thank you very much. What do we have to do for this Neo Tokyo event? I don't know! Is it just those chapters? Like, is there- do you have to coin cap or is it just the chapters, y'all? Does anyone know? I didn't read the patch notes, so I don't know. Hi, derp! This haste doesn't- event doesn't feel like good EXP. Um, technically, so this is what I saw on Reddit. Knight's Troop is better than Haste Event if you're training less than four hours a day. Haste Event is better than Knight's Troop if you train more than four hours a day. So, do with that information what you will, but yeah. I think it's pretty decent. Are you using your boosters? Because you have to use your boosters to actually, um, to see a, to see a big uptick as well in your rates.
who got that kind of time though? There's a lot of people <laughs> that are training more than four hours a day. Oh, I don't want to say a lot of people, but you know, them sweaty end gamers. There's, uh, there's quite a few of them, surprisingly. You, you would be surprised at how many people are training more than four hours a day. Some people are doing six hours a day, uh, ten hours a day, okay? Twelve hours a day. Never had night troop. Hopefully it'll come back this November. Yeah, just a casual doing 10 hours a day of training conspiracy. Mm -hmm. The booster doesn't really give great EXP. It's underwhelming. Well, that's fair. Uh, I mean, this is all we got though. So if you're unhappy, there's nothing you can do about it. Except just not train and just wait for a night troop, which isn't gonna be until a year. Well, nine months. The mini game from Ignition was nicer. The mini game was good for meals, but definitely not someone like at 268. Yeah, I, I can promise you, Ace is much better than the mini games for someone out of that level range. Um, I did like the FMA skill though, it was nice. technically working right now i feel like that's a lot of people on maple like i know conspiracy is technically working right now while casually doing a wap on the side oh never mind no if conspiracy's boss is for whatever reason reading this uh nope he's not he's very hard worker He's not training 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. Which would require him to train while working. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, imagine your boss secretly plays Maple and they're also grinding. I was streaming while at the law firm. I've never streamed at the law firm, but I did stream while I was working as well. I have streamed while working, guys. I mean, technically, this is me working now, but... Like, if we're talking about a real job... I have streamed while working, too. No, I am not a lawyer. Do you hear how many... How often I stutter and how poor my vocabulary is? I say people sprint in, like, Papega and... Stuff like that. You think I am lawyer material? No, I was a uh, paralegal slash legal se uh, secretary. One of the most productive employees. <sighs> That's good, though. That's really good. Then you can get away with it. Your Honor, the defendant was very Papega. No, Your Honor, the defendant was just people sprinting and suddenly this man... Or sorry, no, no, no. The, sorry, the, 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 the... See, I don't even... I, I don't even know the words to use. <laughs> the victim here... <laughs> God, I'm just gonna stop. See? Why? You <laughs> know, wait, never mind. It's just. I'm not a lawyer, and I will never be a lawyer. Just know that. Jesus. Don't ever put me in a position like this ever again, because now I just made myself look really stupid. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright, let's just move on. Okay, guys? Can we just move on? Let's just move on. Let's just. Let's just pretend I never said anything. 
didn't beat him. Four stitch plushies in the background. There's two stitch plushies, one unicorn from Up. Uh, no, not Up, sorry. Minion. Desp what the frick is that show? What do we call it? Despicable... Something? That was one at a carnival, so I don't know. And then one Hamtaro, one Eeyore, and one Tigger. Oh shoot, speaking of Vac Pet, I need my Legion buffs. Thank you. What's my next boss meal? Dude, don't talk to me about bossing meals. I haven't bossed in since Subathon ended. Which, by the way, in three days will have been a month since Subathon ended. Have I been productive in the last month? I mean, like, definitely not as much as I could have been. But, you know. It's something. Mesa rate? Well, so far I've only had I uh, earned 300 mil, I think. It's been f an hour and hour 10 minutes. Oh, I don't have Meso gear on though. I'm too weak for Meso gear. I boom my CRA pants, so <clears throat> I struggled to one shot in Even in damage gear. How's the cooking stream coming along? The issue with the cooking stream is that I have to clean, like, a part of my living room. And you don't understand, our dining room table, because my family, we don't eat together. The table is just full of crap. It's full of a bunch of random spices, random snacks, random like uh clips random s tools scissors papers receipts coupons eh, even plants anything you can think of um and so i have to clean that and i i've been kind of lazy Rotating G skills, yeah. Which actually, you reminded me. I think I have to pop with pop one. <clears throat> Bennett poops on the table. Wait, wait, how did you get that? Did I say that? No, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. There's no way I said that. Literally, no way I said that. Oops. Also skip sack dailies? Yep, I do. Well, I do it when I feel like doing it. If I don't feel like doing it, I'm not gonna do it, you know? I'ma tell you what I told that YouTube commenter. This is a video game. It's meant to be fun, so I do it when I feel like doing it. When I am in the mood for grinding. I'm not gonna slave over uh, Maple Story. When this game has been out for 17 years, it will be out for another decade, I'm sure. I have a whole ass decade to do sacks and have genuine fun on the game. Just want to do damage to Saren. Yeah, cause I'm not I'm not at that mindset right now of wanting to do Saren and stuff, which is why I don't really care. I'll be a decade behind. I already am, man. Conspiracy started playing Maple Story. Um, <clears throat> well, started his new character when Destiny happened, and not even right when Destiny happened. It was in August last year. 
And he's already further than me, technically. Use you as an example. Because you're the only example I know. I don't know who else to compare. Like, you're the only one I really understand the progression of most. I don't really know anyone else's progression. And, and, and how long it's taken them. But yeah, Conspiracy is further than me, and I started this account uh, like a day or two after Reboot launch, which, which was back in 2015. So, I'm already almost a decade behind, y'all. Grinding past 250 feels atrocious. I actually think um, with the totem removal now, and well actually even with totems, Cernium is really cracked in terms of EXP. Uh, it's just the 250 to, to 260 grind is a bit of a pain. And when I say a bit of a pain, it's a massive pain, even with totems. I did not like it. Um, but post Cernium, I'm digging it. So I'm digging it a lot. EXP rates are pretty nice. But I'm also not 270 yet, so I can't speak on, like, post-270 rates. Compared to you, Selena, when did you start? Selena's even further. I know you're really... You've been playing for a very long time, because I think you were talking about having some legacy items. I think. People making banks selling totem. Oh yeah, no, I bet you, like, frenzy owners want <clears throat> our frenzy owners are probably like advocating for the removal of wild totems, if anything. Cause they wanna make bank. <laughs> Sorry, the day of release. Oh, look, actually, so, and you're actually a more accurate comparison then. Because I started like two days after release. And you're miles, centuries, eons ahead of me. And that's okay, I don't really care. It's really cool that you have two libbed characters. Or liberate? I ain't even started, I haven't even started BM. Oh yeah, it's because of the two day difference. Um, that's why I'm I haven't lived two characters yet. <laughs> Hundred percent. Why? Hi, Shavas. Hello, hello. Someone sold a totem for twenty five thousand USD. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, I'm really not surprised that. Uh, frenzy totems are worth thousands and thousands. Wait, how does Sacrix get his for free? Did a fan give him it? Bought it off a friend for cheap. Uh, I wonder how cheap. I guess he shouldn't say it. Um, actually, no. This is this shouldn't be public knowledge. That's te technically against TOS, and he's in the Beam Brigade. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that info. <laughs> let's not talk about it. Ugh. <sighs> He, no, 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 he bought it with Meso, guys. Yeah, with Meso. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sacrix is fine. Please don't kick him out of the Beam Brigade. Man's the only one with 10k legion. 
Man's the only one in this world with every character at level 250. And then... Callie will be his next. <laughs> Excuse me. Does everyone in Beamer Gig get 100k and X? No. It depends on um, how many views you pull in, I think. I think? I think some people get 25k, some people get 50. Some get 100. Some don't get any. Actually, I would be very surprised if no one, if there was someone in the Bing Brigade that did not get NX. Because I would imagine they would be removed from the program. But I don't know. I think the Bing Brigade program is really lenient. Yeah. Master Chef streamers and Beam Kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Trisha hasn't made Maple Story content in forever. <clears throat> She's still in the Beamer Gate, which is like you know, obviously I would keep Trisha in because I mean it's freaking Trisha. Right. So who freaking cares if she makes maple content or not? She's like Master Chef streamer, you know? She's a big face. Not like literally physically a big face, but <laughs> she's got big names, sorry. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I got to chat with her a little bit at Maple Story Fest and it was really cool. She's super, super kind. Super sweet. And ah oh man, I still think about this. So I got all of the Bean Brigaders uh, well most of the Beam Brigaders autographs. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna lie, guys. Okay, Trisha was the one that I wanted the most because it's Trisha. And that is the single one signature that got messed up on my, my card that I was getting everyone to sign because my hand sanitizer ruined it. My hand sanitizer while I was on the flight, I guess, like, burst it open. And so it got all over the card that I got everyone's signatures on. And Trisha was like the one single signature that got ruined. Um, I'm pretty sure Copper Sands is fine. It's right here. Trisha's and Matt's got messed up a bit, but it was like Matt's was like barely touched. It was like Trisha right down in the middle, like ruined, which is really sad. Matt's was like just a little bit of the bottom part. It was like, what the heck? I did get Copper Sand, Scardor, and Femka. Like, I got like everyone. Almost everyone. I was trying to get, um, Fuji. I was trying to get his signature, but... Bruh, I did not see him, like, at all. I don't know if he's part of the Bean Brigade anymore, though. Person doesn't stream anymore. Yeah. Not making as much content. But it's, it's very exciting how he actually got offered a job. And it, and it's game related, I think someone said. So that just sounds really cool. That sounds like just a super cool opportunity overall. Did I get Crane's autograph? <clears throat> Excuse me. No one even knows if Crane went to Maple Story Fast. Literally, we were all talking to everyone um, in the Beamer Gate. We're like, apparently Crane's here. 
I'm like, okay, cool. So it would have been cool to meet him. But literally no one in the Beam Brigade except I think Sacred saw him. Someone. There's only one person that saw a crane. And even then we can't even like validate whether he did actually see him or did he just see some other Asian dude with um, long hair or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> like, I think... I don't know if Crane is actually real. No one saw him. Even though apparently he was at Mablefest. So... AI generated? Did you guys see some of the footage from the AI generated Seinfeld show? I only saw it through Mogul Mail, but it was, was kind of crazy how AI can do a whole comedy skit like that. It's insane. But yeah, no. I'm, I, I, I'm inclined to believe that Crane is AI generated. <clears throat> Whatever they say can't go against TOS. I don't think that's entirely true. <clears throat> God, excuse me. The Seinfeld one got banned, although they might get unbanned soon. Hi, Fondue. Good morning. Good morning. I'm trying to hit 269. Did I quit Lost Ark? <clears throat> I... I want to say yes now. I'm going to stop saying I'm on high. Well, I did log on to Lost Ark a few days ago. I can't say yes, but, you know, I'm not actively playing it. It is crazy, though. Lost Ark's one year was yesterday. I remember when Lost Ark released... Oh my god, at this time specifically, I think I was just trying to log into Lost Ark, but it was having a bunch of issues with Steam and whatnot. Oh man, this is so fun. This is so fun. I miss it. I remember when uh, <clears throat> a lot of us in the community we all went from Maple to Lost Ark and then we were all kind of like progressing together. We played, we had a guild together and we raided together, did dungeons, chaos dungeons, guardian raids, all that stuff. Man, well, I would kill, man. I would kill to relive that. It was so fun. Back in the day, you were an Ark Mage going to start Maple M. I recommend not playing Maple M personally. I think Maple Story Mobile is has almost zero resemblance to PC Maple. I can't comment on Maple Mobile because I don't know enough about it. It's it's a different game. Am I liking new setups with a new fountain skill? Oh, it, it's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. When totems were around, it made like some Lumina maps that I never trained trained in before uh, viable, which was nice. The beginning was so fun, right? Which is why, oh man, I really want a new MMORPG to come out. But hey, guys, we are again. We are gonna play Hogwarts Legacy. Once I get to 269, so I just have 7% more. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'll be all our first times playing it, so hopefully I'll be able- to, we'll be able to kind of relive that. It's not- oh my god, my voice is dying. Excuse me. Um, it's not multiplayer, but hopefully we'll be able to, like, you know, share experiences. 
If you guys aren't buying Hogwarts, then you can at least like watch me play it, I guess. And uh, we can experience the adventure together. I will have drops on because I think everyone who streams Hogwarts just has drops. So, yeah, should be a good time. I'm excited. Crawl back to your PC. Yeah, I highly recommend playing the PC version of a mo mobile. I, I hear mobile Maple is also very pay to win. As well. Will you play the Riot MMO if it can? Oh, yeah, no, 100% I will. I do want to play it. Um, it probably won't come out till like 2030 though. So we gotta, we gotta go and live off of scraps until then, you know? Live off of pre-existing MMOs and whatnot. Man, new MMOs are so fun. I wanted to stream yesterday. I wanted to maybe play some Lost Ark yesterday, but I don't know, man. It's not like I plan on playing Lost Ark long term again. It's just not possible to balance two MMOs and edit. Um, at the same time, it's just not. And 2010. Uh, like, everyone on MapleStory that is, has a female avatar is 100% a man, including myself. So, everyone knows this already. You ain't gonna get free stuff just because you have a female avatar anymore. <laughs> so, you know? Nice try. Nice trap. Everyone's legit a trap. New animal has a feeling of everyone being at the same level. Yeah! You know, so, it was actually really cool to see New World have fresh start servers. I would 100% play a pre-existing MMO if there's like a fresh start server that will have a prevalent player base because that's fun, you know, like everyone's just starting off. It's just so cool, at least with New World. Um, one of the quests is to make like a campfire slash little like base tent area. And when the game first came out, you almost could not make a campfire site because everywhere was full. Like there was just no room on the ground because there were that many people on these fresh start servers. And that might sound annoying to you. Entirely valid. But, um, I think it's just a cool experience that you can only... It's, it's like a once, once in a lifetime thing. Or maybe twice in a lifetime thing with fresh start servers. But yeah. Oops, no, that's not what I want. I want the... Wait, am I using a buff right now? Oh! Damn, okay. Uh, mail NX is trash? I feel like I could make a really good mail. Like... Well, I mean, I did. I had a second account where I had a man called Tralala. And, and I would just sit with myself. I would have two PCs and I would sit with myself in Hennessy's. But I made that guy have Dreamcatcher hair, male i6. And then he had like the blue hoodie. And then, I mean, all, that's all you really need is a blue hoodie. But also, you know, like the black eye patch and whatnot. And it's, just, it's just good. It's enough. It's enough. Have I tried BDO? I played BDO when it was in beta. And I decided I don't like it because. I don't like PvP, and that game is heavily centered around PvP. 
Also, there's like no... Ah, back when I played it, there was no mob variety. At all. Have I done my boosters? I am. Knowledge is fresh. Yeah, that's cool too, of, of course. We're all learning together. Another WAP done. I don't know how you do a conspiracy. I really don't. Looks like I will be training for two hours. Dude, I thought my naive bum thought that I was gonna get from t uh, 75% to 269 in one hour. I need a whole entire two- I need a whole WAP. Uh, I was severely- severely misjudging how good, um, haste is. That'd be some hacking level rates. Dude, low key? Actually, yeah, no, I, I think I just got my rates wrong. Never mind. I think I just got my rates wrong. I just remember getting 11% from training here for a bit, but I think it was one hour. Like, I got 11% in one hour. Or something like that. With 100% burning. So I mixed it up and I thought it was half an hour. I thought I got 11% in half an hour. I got 8% in 30 minutes. Oh, 8% in 30 minutes with 100% burning. Yeah, I... I just feel like haste because it gets rid of burning because so many people are training it really isn't as good as you think it is because there's like massive trade-offs mm. Am I buying any surprise cell boxes? I have 4k and X, so no, unfortunately. I'm training on 30% burning, maybe 50 if I'm really lucky. I should CC and see if I can find any other burning. I think I'm at 20% right now. Haste is still overall better. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that it's, I don't appreciate having a training event, but I was, I definitely. Am underwhelmed, yes. Like someone else said, it's underwhelming. It's better if you go with a map. To a map with 0% burn already? I mean, if that's where you regularly train, yeah, I guess. 80 burn. But this map only has 10%. I may have to find a different map. Oh, wasn't I, like, training here or something? No, I'm just gonna go back to that 
Oops. Everything will die down, but then haste will be over. Oh, yeah, you're train. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I can. I don't really have to c compete for maps, but then again, I'm in Cernium. I don't, especially burning Cernium, so I really don't have to compete against maps. I'm just competing against burning maps, but like maps in general, I'm not competing against anything. Regular Cernium is a bloodbath. Dude, I can imagine uh, Moonbridge, Limina, those all being bloodbaths. True, it is the first day. Y'all just gotta wait till people burn out. Start training in like the se <laughs> half of the second last week. Or half of the last week, I mean. Hopefully there will be more mouse because people burnt out and hit their goals. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why they removed 10 channels. And again, if you think Beam Brigade has any influence on the game whatsoever, just know that uh, several Beam Brigaders spoke out uh, about not, please don't remove the, uh, wait one sec. We we said please do not remove the ten channels right before haste, and I mean obviously, no dice because they removed it still. The brigaders ain't shit, man. Our suggestions mean nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they took out 10 channels, right? Yeah, 10. We heard you and we'll definitely not take it into consideration. Essentially, the story of the Bean Brigader team. I don't even want to go to Limina or Moonbridge or wherever else to see how busy it is. I don't think I've... In Burning Serenium, I haven't seen a single other soul, I think. But that's because I'm in Burnium. It's horrible. Yeah, like, if you t look at... Look at it only from Burning Cernium and probably Hotel Arcus Odium. It's like, yeah, no, get rid of the 10 channels, whatever. You do you, girlfriend. You do you, Nexon. But when you take it into the context of lower level maps, it's like, please keep the. Add 20 channels, if anything. <laughs> Sorry about Bennett. Ben? <clears throat> ben is triggered today. Sorry. Oh, I don't know why. It's probably, it's probably because I'm streaming in the morning. Caught the Mimi cough. Is Mimi sick? I'm not sick. I just have a. Uh... I actually don't know. I just, I'm just clearing my throat. True clovers. Haste is good. It's, it is motivating me to cap clovers. Want to know the server costs for each? Would be interesting to read about. Haste doesn't change your training habits one bit. What are your training habits?
Where am I with clovers? Oh, I capped. Nice. Only I could level faster, man. Maybe if I do end up streaming tomorrow, I'll just... I'll train until I clover cap and then go into Hogwarts. Today I just wanted the goal of leveling up. I didn't realize it would take this long though. How do I have a tool? I bought it. Yeah, I bought mine, like, middle of January. So it goes into February as well. Will I like Hogwarts? I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, the game has really good reviews. It looks fun. I haven't seen too much gameplay. I actually don't even know how the combat works at all. But, it look I mean, I'm hearing glowing reviews from it. Close, NYC, thanks for the follow. Also, pal Pinda, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I haven't created a character or anything. We're also going to pick a house together or do a, a quiz to see what house I'm in and everything together. Um, Yeah, I, I haven't heard anything negative about Hogwarts other than the controversy around it, which uh, I guess we don't have to get too much into it. But if anyone even says, I will ban people. I'm just going to say right now, okay, guys? I don't know if you've heard the controversy, but I will ban people who purposely come into the stream and call me transphobic because I am anything but transphobic. Okay. i just putting that out there. Otherwise, yeah. I, I haven't heard anything negative about the game. Watch me get Hufflepuff? I don't even- I didn't even know Hufflepuff was a thing! I totally forgot everything about, uh, uh, Hogwarts. Hearing it is like a Destiny 2 kind of model makes it- Destiny 2 model? Wait. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly, it's her. It's just, it's just a really stupid way to go about it, just overall, anyways. Yeah, that's what I saw, Derp Tarts, and I was a bit scared of actually streaming it because pe streamers have legitimately been harassed to the point of crying, and from what- I haven't watched Girlfriend Reviews, but from the comments of like the subreddits and stuff that I've read, like they sound they sound like decent normal people and they're just being harassed for no for, for no good reason. I mean, there's literally never a good reason to har harass anyone, you know? So um yeah. But like I said, I will ban anyone who says anything of the sort. Relating to the controversy because it's stupid. It's just stupid. I'm not <laughs> In terms of the game progression, I don't know how destiny 2 progresses. That's why I Already bought the game, so it's too late I Really hope I do enjoy it It was $80 Canadian. 80 flippin' dollars Canadian. I felt so bad. I felt so guilty. I'm like, frick. I spent so much on this computer already. And now I'm gonna spend 80 on... I haven't bought a video game for this much money in so long. Uh... 
And even Cyberpunk and Witcher, I didn't buy that. I'm playing on my brother's account. <laughs> so, uh, it's just it's so it's weird. Weird. I just really hope I like it. I was, I was like contemplating for several hours yesterday whether I should buy it or not. Melo convinced me to pull the trigger. JK Rowling is problematic when she had no involvement in this game. Yeah, I don't know. It, I think it's 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 just stupid overall. You shouldn't be harassing people who are just trying to enjoy something that they lived in their childhood. And I think it's so stupid how they use the argument of by playing and streaming this game, you are promoting it and giving it more publicity. But these people who are harassing um, people to the point of crying is giving they're giving more publicity to the game than anything and also harry potter's is like one of the biggest freaking franchises to exist on planet earth you possibly me as a streamer or anyone else as a streamer playing the game can't possibly be giving it any more publicity than it already has like i think everyone in the world knows what harry potter is there just can't be a single soul who doesn't know what harry potter is it's just so stupid but also they're super um hypocritical because now they're they're probably buying things from like um from like nike nestle etc these big corporations who use child labor and just they're just hypocrites man they're just we're all they're just all hypocrites and it's just so stupid how people are harassing others like don't ever harass anyone for any reason there's literally no no point I mean, there's no good reason to harass anyone. Yeah. Anyways. You don't have to get too deep into it. <laughs> Actually, I guess that was kind of deep, sorry. Uh, I think people who want to boycott the game have every right to boycott it, but don't, like, impose your views on um, someone else. I personally find it very easy to separate the art from the artist. Um, that's just me, though. It's like, it's like... I just don't like having things imposed on me. Have I seen the chart of what they make? I haven't, but I'm sure I have Nestle products. I, I, I try not to buy Nestle products because, like, that I know of anyways. Because first of all, look, their water is ass, okay? I would just say it. Nestle has the worst water bottles, or w bottled water, known to mankind. It tastes like straight chemicals. Um... And so when I think of Nestle in general, I just think of, like, the chemical tasting water. <laughs> the cancel culture that's been revolving keep taking a turn for the worse. I get that there are things that need to be canceled, but people push it to the limit by imposing things on others who don't share the same viewpoint. Yeah. And, I don't know, the whole thing's just really stupid. I don't know, it's like saying people who watch, or people who have listened to Kanye West, it's like saying they're Nazis. <laughs> you! Because you listen to Kanye West's song, now you're a Nazi. It's like, the equivalent of that, you know? It's so extreme, it's so extreme. <laughs> I don't listen to Kanye West because I don't listen to that type of music in general, but... Yeah. FBI agent watching my stream right now. I don't get how people think listening to music could mean that. I mean, same concept as playing a video game could mean you're transphobic. How does that make, how does the two and two add? I really don't obviously stand and 
um with the same viewpoint as these people right but art is art Kanye example is another recent one. So do you not listen to Kanye because of his uh, antics? I don't listen to Kanye because I don't care. Uh, I, I actually don't need, I can't name a single Kanye song. I've just never really listened to his music. I mean, I listen to freaking Mabel music on my first spare time. I'm, the, I'm not the type of person to listen to Kanye. Mushroom game is the only thing you care about. I mean, kind of same. It's been over half my life. Portal lag? It was portal lag. You don't actively listen to music? Yeah, same. That, I, I mean, I have those exact same points, Solana. I don't listen to Kanye and I don't actively listen to music. If I do listen to music, it's literally maple music. <laughs> I'm not joking. <gasps> Although, with my uh, motherboard having this built-in sound card, oh man, I've been enjoying listening just like anything. Shh, the audio sounds so nice. Called homophobic because you buy Chick-fil-A. I hear that too. I'm gonna say it, okay? I had Chick Fil A for the very first time when I uh, was uh, when I had a stop at Dallas, Texas, when I was going home from Maple Story Fest. My very first time trying Chick Fil A, and oh my god, the sauce is to die for. It is to kill for. It's so good. I've never tasted sauce so delicious. My god. I wish Calgary had Chick-fil-A. Actually, I'm glad Calgary doesn't have Chick-fil-A because then I... Uh, I'd probably be dead from a heart attack. <laughs> but it's so good. Every single time I talk about Chick-fil-A, just think about it with fondness from that one single time I had it at my la during my layover. Yeah, I wasn't. Well, I uh, know I was just in Dallas for a uh, layover, so I was just in the airport. Technically, I've been to Dallas twice now because I had two layovers there, to LA and back f to Calgary. Should have said hi. <laughs> you might like, come to the airport, go through security and everything to say hi. My, <laughs> I think my layover was like. Also, uh, Atobe Night Night, who's also in Drowsy. I mean, I was traveling with him because we're from the same city. Um, I mean, he was there too. Could have met two Drowsy members. He came to the airport for one hour. <laughs> hmm. Waffle fries and sauce are top tier. I had, I ordered chicken nuggets. Because I saw, oh my god, their chicken nuggets are so much cheaper than McDonald's. But their chicken nuggets are so small! Um, Atobe gave me, like, one of his fries. It was really good. So good. Yeah, no, I don't think they would have let you. We would have had to, like, come out of security. And then we'd have to go through TSA again. And oh, it would have been such a mess. <laughs> Would have been super cool though. It was so much fun meeting everyone at Maple Fest. I, I really, really, really hope we'll get another remake of, of it this year. Like, if I'm alive for us for any reason, right now my life is life's purpose is Maple Story Fest. Cause that, that was so fun. Only if Maple Story pays for it. What was your most awkward moment in life so far? 
this popular girl, she was in the wash. So this prep, uh, context, I was in junior high. I was in the washroom. I just come. I had just come out of the washroom stall. This popular girl, and mind you, I'm very social anxieties through the roof, and I'm very shy. Um, this popular girl in the washroom says hi to me. How are you? And I reply back, hey, how are you? I did the finger guns to her in the washroom. I gave her the good old two, one, two finger guns. Hey, how are you? And then my face, when I did it, I realized how stupid I looked. My face turned flush red. So I'm like here with my finger guns. And my face is like pitch red because I realize how stupid I probably look. And then she started kind of like laugh gigg giggling without like trying to embarrass me, I guess. I don't know, but I don't really remember the whole situation. I kind of like blacked out a little bit at the moment, but I just, I just know I left. Like I try to leave ASAP. Yeah, which I think when she responded, I just kind of like was like, oh, cool, okay, and then I left. <laughs> I was, let me tell you, I was a very awkward kid. I was still very awkward, but like, junior high is amplified 20 million times. Uh, um, God. <laughs> Fuck, this is so embarrassing. Dude, okay, actually, guys, just semi related ish. Um, do you guys get anxiety? So let's say you're in the suburbs, so it's not like a busy sidewalk. It's just you alone on the street, and then you see another person coming towards you on the same sidewalk. Do you get anxiety, like, leading up to the point and past the point where you guys, like, pass each other on the sidewalk? Because that single-handedly, like, freaking... Uh, oh my god. That happened to me a couple times yesterday, and I was so anxious the entire time. I just... I'm like constantly thinking, should I make eye contact? Should I say hi? Should I smile? Or should I just look down on the ground? But if I look down on the ground, I'm going to look really awkward. I just like have all these thoughts going rushing through my head. I I'm not scared of getting robbed or anything. Like this is in broad daylight. I'm by my house. I'm walking by my house around my neighborhood, which I feel pretty safe around. It's just like the social aspect of it. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I should be doing is what I'm scared of. That requires going outside and walking. You don't do that stuff. I've gone on a walk every day this week. I might not go today, though. It's kind of chilly. The music on when you're outside. I don't like that because I like to enjoy the sounds of nature, which as stupid as that sounds, but... Uh, yesterday, I went to the park nearby my house and I just sat there for like half an hour. I walked around as well. So like half an hour is just sitting there listening to birds chirping, watching the cars pass by on the... Just like enjoying... Oh, oh, I'm 269, let's go! Anyways, yeah. I just don't like listening to music. Get slightly uncomfortable as a guy. We have some privilege where we don't feel uncomfortable. Um, I feel like girls don't have a societal pressure to, like, say hi or anything, per se. Oh, shoot, I'm online? Oh my god, people are saying grats to me in guild. I'm not on offline mode for once. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel awkward or anything. Um... I'm sorry, I don't feel like I'm in danger or anything when I'm walking past someone on the sidewalk in my neighborhood. It's just like this social anxiety that eats me. The Boki's video, I saw a light and walked to it. A theorist, I saw a person on the street and fell in the corner. <laughs> Thanks, Miko. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Race me to 280, you'll win. You'll win. I promise. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I took a screenshot because of people saying grats on my guild. Okay. Sue me! I'm saving memories! <laughs> um... Gracie at 271. Look, I'm trying to play Hogwarts. I ain't trying to get past 270. Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, Zai! Appreciate it. Sometimes my social anxiety is like that crippling where I like I don't even want to go on a walk anymore. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to actively avoid I think I might just walk in the alleyways now to be honest. I just like if I'm walking past someone on a busy sidewalk, I don't really care because everyone's ignoring each other, but it's so hard to ignore like when it's one single person. So I might just um I'm gonna start walking in the alleyways. <laughs> So I've been enjoying going on walks. I've been really enjoying it. That's even sketchier. Look, no, I'm not sketched out, guys. That's the thing. I don't get awkward. Like, I don't have any issues passing by someone on the sidewalk because it's sketchy. I don't care. I feel very safe in my neighborhood. Going on, going um through. I mean, I've walked through a lot of alleyways as well. I've been fine. I'm still alive. I just don't want to have to, like, make a decision on whether I should say hi or not to someone. Because I have done multiple times where I did muster up the courage to look at, uh, at someone in the eye and say hi, and they just ignored me. And, like, that's fine, I guess, technically, but, like, it's awkward. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that. It's so awkward. Downtown Calgary is pretty sketch. Well, yeah, I don't walk downtown Calgary alone. <laughs> it is my social anxiety is with people that I feel like I'm expected to talk to, neighbors, coworkers, I don't really know. Oh, yeah, I don't really like seeing my neighbor because then I, I feel like... Sl I feel like we are expected to have a conversation as well. Please say hi only if you want to talk to them more. It's very common for people to say hi here, though. But also, at the same time, like, a lot of people don't say hi. Because COVID now. I don't know. Do you think it's rude? Okay, question. Again, we're walking down the street. It's just one other person coming towards me on a sidewalk, and there's another sidewalk on the other side. Is it rude of me to just to avoid social interaction if I cross the sidewalk and just keep going straight? <laughs> do you think it's rude? <laughs> Should I just do that? No? I might do that. I just feel like I don't know if, it, if it's rude or anything. Then that man was about to bark again. Can't be rude if you're not interacting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I might just do that. I'm gonna walk to walk in alleyways and cross the street. <laughs> that's that's how I'm gonna go on my walks from now on. Alleyways and just crossing streets to avoid people. What's your EXP rate at 269? Um, well, at 268, it took me... Oh my god! What?! Okay, I must be scuff leveling or something, but shit. 270... Uh, 75%? Took me two hours and 43 minutes? What was I doing? No, I must have AFK'd or something in the beginning. It might have taken me... No, I'm pretty sure this took me two hours. I'm pretty sure it took off the 43 minutes. Two hours. I didn't mean to quit. Well, it's okay, I didn't have buffs. <laughs> it's okay, I was gonna stop training anyways. 
Oh, I, I wanted to train till my rune buff ended, but... I mean, that's not an option anymore. Oops. Oh, did I log in? Oh, no, I'm offline. Oh, it's possible, Overkill, if you... Dude, Conspiracy's trying to get to 270 to 280 in two weeks. You can do it, Overkill. You just have to sweat really hard. Um... Okay, I, I really need the washroom, though, so... Seventy percent in two hours? No, 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 25%, 25%. In two hours. Have a good night, pal. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna use a washroom. I will be right back. Be right back, be right back. I'm gonna run a quick ad, too. A minute and a half ad. Be right back. Okay, y'all. Um, so I have to eat. I haven't eaten yet, and instead of going until 4 p.m. and not eating like I did last time, I'm gonna take like five minutes to eat. Um, in the meantime, though, I have decided that uh, I'm gonna let you guys watch my vlog that I posted while I'm eating. I'm gonna turn off my cam. Um, and then we'll play. I'm gonna try to take five minutes. Okay, I oh I hate myself. Curly hair. You will never see me with curly hair ever again. I'm gonna try to finish my food in five minutes ish, and then yeah, I'll be back.
look out the window to see if the plane engine was on fire or something, or if like one of the plane wings fell off because. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it feels so awkward. Someone just came. Anyways, we're in Toronto. That's all that matters. <laughs> we got the cake. It's so tiny. But I think this is like the perfect size for all of us. I think this is the original flavor, right? Yes. The one other, more. Yeah, one more. Than, I think that's good. Yeah. I murdered Uncle Tetsu. <laughs> Uncle Tetsu, no! And then you guys can just grab whatever piece you want. Oh, that's cheesecake. That looks so good. It smells really good. Oh my god, it feels so fluffy. Oh. oh no. Oh no. It's so fluffy. Jiggle. Do the jiggle. <laughs> Mine doesn't jiggle as much as yours. <laughs> oh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Mmm. <laughs> it's really fluffy. It's actually not too sweet. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So we bang the table three times. Oh, yeah. Oh, after she says socket. Okay. Yeah. 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 That was good. <laughs> oh my god, I was not prepared for that. What the fuck? Yeah, so apparently in the sake bomb they use Sapporo, so we got a big glass. I've never actually ordered Sapporo before, so this will be my first time. Wait, it hurts. <laughs> Time for more alcohol. <laughs> Whoa, this is the mystery bowl. The mystery bowl wasn't enough. We're getting more drinks. <laughs> it won an award. Oops, I'm zooming in on accident. Oops. <laughs> that always happens at the club, man. You're so drunk that you you try your best. You put on your like Leonardo DiCaprio acting skills and you try to walk at, in a straight line to the washroom and it always fails. Yeah. Sharon's trying to drink this and she's using the straw that we call yeah. the mystery. What the fuck? <laughs> Even more drinking. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but we're at another bar. It's Mahjong Bar. It is so insanely loud. Oh my god. You even got a DJ DJ in like the Chinese cupboard. Look at that. What the heck? Our drinks? Apparently mine has egg white. the last seven and a half hours drinking. We were gonna go to Nathan Phillips Square yeah. today, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Yeah, so tomorrow, to we're gonna head over to the CN Tower. We're gonna go back home now. Have a good night, guys. See you in day two, bye. I didn't really get to vlog too much yesterday because we spent seven and a half hours drinking. I actually woke up this morning feeling really dizzy, but right now we're gonna take the ferry over to Senna Island. Really excited to see that because I know we can like overlook the downtown of Toronto, I believe. I'm also a little bit sad because I lost my Canadian mask, so now I have to wear my American mask around. I am American. I'm gonna say I am from. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Wow. I can't think of any states. 
Minnesota. What is that? Oh my god, that's not that's not American, is it? I'm recording. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Downtown. Okay, sorry. I don't know why. Oops. I don't know why my headphones aren't working. I'm so sorry. Like it sound. Um, you're probably hearing the headphone plug-in sound over and over because I. I still haven't changed my front I.O. and so my audio jack is just messed up and it's not detecting my headphones. Where is Minnesota? Why are my headphones not being detected? What is Minnesota? What is it? Oh, shoot, sorry. Oh, it's a state. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna try plugging it in one more time. What? Why is it not working? So... Oh, oh my god, I hate my case. I might actually have to change my I.O. California, Texas, New York. Dude, I, I put myself on the spot. I wasn't expect- I don't know. I, it was like I wasn't expecting- to have to name a state even though i came up with like the pro you know it, it makes no sense i was very hungover no judge please work it's not working i don't know what to do my headphones aren't working <laughs> Never buy anything from Best Buy. They sold me a broken case. And now I have to do extra work to accommodate the broken case. Thanks, Red. Hi, monkey. More on Corsair. I mean, probably. Oh, yes! It got detected! Let's go! Oh, thank God. Okay. Alright, let me see if it actually works. Let me play some music here. I think so. Did I resolve the IO issue? Um, I got a new IO sent to me, but I haven't changed it yet because it's a lot of work and I don't want to deal with it. I'm an Aaron. Oh yeah, okay. We uh, my headphones are good. I don't know. Okay, so it's weird. So when I plug in my headphones, usually my sound system is supposed to say real tech HD audio second output. But those past couple of times when I was plugging it in, I didn't see that show up until just now. Is that, is that, is that a, is that a case issue or is that like a, I don't know, like the system issue? No, no level 300s yet. Okay.
All right, it's fixed now. We're fixed pretty good. What? Well, I'm just gonna say Aaron best class, that's all. Nothing wrong with that, nothing false in that statement. Thank you, Overkill. Confusing people, Yellow. You're confusing them. Okay, anyways, if you want to watch more of that vlog, um, there you go, guys. Sorry I interrupted it. I finished my bowl of food pretty quick. Pretty quick. It is double Ursus, so remember to do it if you haven't done it yet. Oh, why was the 4D thing a scam? It was so bad, it was like... Well, I don't know how much it cost it, but it was like 20 something. And all you- oh, so, so the Niagara's Fury, which is what I call a scam at the end of my vlog, I say it's so bad. It's a scam because it's just not worth the money. It's so bad. You think it's 4D because you're supposed to like get wet. You're supposed to like feel the winds and yada, 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 and like experience all these things. But essentially what everyone does is you stand on a platform and it only like minorly moves. It like... Maybe we'll tilt a little bit. Maybe tilt a little bit. And they gave you like those rain ponchos. And so I expected to get wet. I think at most, maybe I got like spat on by the person beside me. That's like the most wet I got. So good thing I had a rain poncho so that I didn't get like spit on me. But yeah, no, it was so bad. And it was so short as well. It's just not worth it. Do not... If you ever go to Niagara's Falls and you go to the Canadian side, never, ever, 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 ever... Do Niagara's Fury. I will tell you what 4D thing is worth it. Um, in Vancouver, I... I, my mom, and I don't remember who else. Um, we went on this thing called Flyover Canada. And so essentially with that, I thought it'd be the same thing because I've done Flyover first before the Niagara's Fury thing. You sit on a chair and then that chair gets lifted up into the air and then you are in front of this like ginormous massive screen which niagara's fury by the way was very short stump and just not good but yeah with flyover canada you're in front of this massive screen and um it's really cool because they i guess they like fly a drone through like the these real areas in canada and your chair moves with the drone so if the drone goes downwards your chair also moves downwards so you literally feel like you're flying and then you have like the winds and the vibrations and like whatnot as well i thought i think fly over canada is super duper cool or fly over whatever i did canada there are other places you can fly over as well with that 40 thing in vancouver i think that's cool so I was expecting something similar on that level. Make sure to release Misty Island Part 2 and give everyone who clears challenge mode a potable badge. In your dreams! That'd be nice though. But... <laughs> in your dreams... Anyways, that is why... It's a scam. I'm sorry, Applic. You probably weren't expecting such a long-winded answer, but there you go. Potable totem when? What did you guys settle on? I feel like I, I have the lowest flame score out of everyone. That did 101 flames. So no one, I'm settling on 86. 51 and 7. Andrew never struggles. Well, yours is lower conspiracy because you only had one flame, right? Settle on 89. 55 and 4. I mean, technically that's 90. Um, that's 95 overkill.
same as me, but no all stat. Hi, Copper San. Wait, so you got 44? Honestly, one flame? 44, that's good. <laughs> nice. 109 and 7 attack? Y'all making me feel inadequate. Five. Yellow's at five. 42 and three attack. Wait, that's really good for one flame? That's like 57. Is Aaron a good class? It's the best class, actually. So yeah. It is. Page best class? Page? You mean the thing that I write on in school? No, gross. That's... It's disgusting. Aaron best class. ABC, know your alphabet, man! Okay, maybe the Netherlands doesn't teach you the alphabet. I may, like, I just blame the Netherlands education. It's not your fault, Copper Sand. It's probably just the education system there. That's why you don't know what ABC means. <laughs> Wait! Femka? Wait, Femka trained at Aaron? Yo, let's go! Wait, she even trained at past Hyperburn. Past 250. See? Let's go. I'm telling you. She understands. Whichever school she went to did her right. You went to the wrong school, Ronald. <laughs> I'm sorry your government failed you. Dude, not even I got my hyper burn to 250. She has higher education. Ah! That's why. She was actually taught the alphabet in school. Like, I, I didn't finish my degree. I only did one semester of chemistry in university, but that one semester was enough for me to, like, learn about the ABCs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I do want to do some monster parks, though. Because I kind of want some pots. I'm going to do it on my marksman, because that's the next project. Got this weird W in front of your ABC. Yeah, because you're just saying Aaron best class is a winner. Winner Aaron best class. Argon born carbon. It's... Yeah. No, a different ABC. So I know a different one. Why am I bullying Calvin? There's probably a reason why. I don't know what that reason is, but Cal Cal Calvin probably deserved to get bullied. Did I try out the new cubes? Um, I did one single cube because <laughs> I heard uh, reboot is getting cube fragments, and they're not we're not supposed to. And I just wanted to get it for in case it becomes a legacy item. And then five years down the line, people look at my use inventory on my errand and they're like, what the heck? How do you have a cube fragment? And then I can talk about, well, exactly on February 8th, 2023, there was this patch called Neo Tokyo and the cube revamp. And anyways, yeah, I'm just... I just... I just wanted legacy cube fragments. So I did one cube. I didn't get anything though from the one cube. Like, I got the cube fragments, but I didn't get good pot, pot. So, yeah. You can't cube locked items anymore? Huh. I kind of like 
that because I f like I mess up a lot. So it's nice to know that there's absolutely no way for me to mess up a locked item now, right? You need to get a few items unlocked. I think it's really easy to unlock an item. I think people have just messaged support and was like, yo, unlock this. And they're like, okay, bet. So if a hacker ever steals your account, let's hope they never contact support. Aaron or Aaron? Aaron or Aaron? It's Aaron. What's there? Oh, I didn't kill this guy. I've been calling it Aaron since it was released. Ah, uh, Ron? That just doesn't even make sense. That sounds so wrong. Aaron? More like a wrong. Right? Because it's Aaron. Also, it's Ryan. That's how you pronounce the town. This is my marksman with three line attack. Look at that juicy, juicy thing. Not even my Aaron has this. Oops. I did get that in five cubes. I was very lucky. But I don't. I want it on my errand. Yeah, in Korean, sure, but this is America, bitch. We call it Aaron here. <laughs> not, not whatever Korean language it's from. No, we in America, okay? You speak our language. Which is called Aaron. My, yeah, the language is Aaron, by the way, because ABC. Aram? Oh god, yeah, do you, do you guys know Coppersan used to play League? Honestly explains his toxicity. You guys ever wonder and when you like watch his content? Man, why is this guy just so like... Ugh unbearably toxic it's because of his league of legends past Ugh. even when we're not talking about league he brings league up this guy's in deep deep couldn't leave <laughs> oh wait i want more pickets <sighs> Oh my god, so many things expired. Why no one plays Mech Toxic Edition? Next, he's gonna do one on Aaron and make like not even make actual valid points and just insult insult our family and everything like that's that's the road we're going down my outfit my hoodie this is like the best thing that any company has ever sent me like, you guys know that space heater I ha used to have on all the time? I feel like I don't really have to have it on now because I have this hoodie. Like, I'm literally <laughs> saving energy right now Electri on electricity bills because of this, um, this hoodie. This wearable blanket. 
What's wrong with Aaron? How do you even pronounce Aaron? Good thing I'm here to teach you. Did I say Uri? Yeah, this is called Uri. I mean, that's why I have hashtag Uri. Technically sponsored stream? Like, I don't know if this is... What is it called? If you get an item for free, is it spo it's sponsored, right? It's just a free item. I didn't get paid or anything. They reach out to you a long time, but you wanted money? Bro, I'm like, I don't fucking care. This thing is like on sale for $60 Canadian right now. I just, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I want this. <laughs> like, I know for a fact I'm going to wear this every single winter. <laughs> if they give you money in a script to say you should say it's a sponsor if they give you money in a script no I have no script no money they just gave me the audio isn't 60 Canadian the same as the money in a monopoly set Okay, kind of off topic, but you typing out $60 Canadian, this hoodie is, or hoodie is literally cheaper than Hogwarts. I spent $80 Canadian on Hogwarts <laughs> legacy. Bro, what the fuck? I better get hella value out of this game. <laughs> I know, it was so expensive. I was contemplating if I should get it or not, and then Mellow Jello convinced me to get Hogwarts. Congrats, Sora! Let's go! Congrats. One Canadian dollar equals 69 euro. Oh, wow. That's really nice. It, it, dude! Damn, really? I'm never going to Europe. I'm gonna be so poor. I can't afford anything. Dude, if you came to Canada, Copper Cent, you'd be... You'd be like an oil prince with that European money. Damn. He's gonna start sending out emails to Canadians now. Isn't that 69 cents? Yeah, so... Every 69 cents of your euro, you'll have one dollar. Man's gonna be rich. If he came to Canada. I think a USD, I think one Canadian dollar is 74 cents USD. <sighs> it's not good out here in Canada. It's really not good. One thirty five. Damn. Oh, sixty nine dollars. Oh, no, no, no. That would be insane. <laughs> One Canadian dollar, sixty nine dollars European. I would move to Europe. I would be a millionaire. Actually, I don't know how much I, how much wealth I'd have, but. 145 Really? Yo, thank you for checking out the YouTube vids. I appreciate it. I'm gonna try- so I'm gonna try a video schedule. I'm gonna try to release at least two videos a week. Um, at, on my second channel. My first channel Depends on when I find the motivation to sift through three hours of Star Forcing. I still haven't started uh, editing my Shining Star Force. Because there's three hours of footage I have to sift through. And I'm not looking forward to that. I'm actually extremely dreading it. Yeah, I do all my edits myself, my thumbnails. I do everything. Mainly because I'm... I can't afford an editor. <laughs> oh, my vlog's so cringed. My too short one. I haven't gotten around to highlighting that yet. 
Yeah, and then I also have to go through all my... So what I do is I go through every single one of my streams and then I highlight like the parts that I think are funny or like notable. And then I have to turn those into TikToks or actual videos. So then I still have to go through the subathon. I've gone through 11 days of the subathon so far. So I have 12 more days of highlighting my subathon plus the streams after the subathon. So I have a shit ton I have to do. And I just, I am just very overloaded with work right now. And I've been procrastinating a lot because I am just feel super, super, super overwhelmed. It's not a good cycle, guys. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm all, I need to be more productive. So if you guys are wondering when cooking stream and stuff, when merch, when emotes are coming out, I am just really... Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm trying. Thumbnails? There's only one thumbnail? Well, you need a thumb thumbnail every video, right? Not, it's not like the same thumbnail every video. <sighs> and then coming up with the YouTube. You would think coming up with YouTube um, tags and title is easy, but sometimes I spend a little bit of time trying to figure that out too. And even then, they they're not good. <laughs> It's alerting. It's a alerting process. It's the same face, right? Just for that that one video, that one time, one time. Man, I can't believe you still remember that. Fuck. <laughs> Man, I thought if I mirrored my face. No one would recognize that it's the same face if I just mirrored it in my thumbnail. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done it like back-to-back -back videos. Because it's extremely apparent when uh, you look through my video catalog. <laughs> uh, oops. Ah, good times, good times. That's when I used to play uh, Lost Ark. Another new main? You know, the Maple World's telling me to main it by giving me three line attack, but... I will never betray Aaron. Never. What's this? Ah. Oh. Man, I don't remember how to play this class. Do we have a better mobbing skill other than split shot? Dex classes always have it easy. I can't disagree. Wait, that was seven times? Damn. Three K charge on your credit card? Oh god. I'm sorry, Miko. Hopefully... Those things usually take a while, but... Hopefully it'll... I mean, it'll eventually get resolved. Hopefully. They happen. Yeah, 3k? That's insane. Okay, can I tell you guys something really stupid of me? Well, it wasn't my fault per se, but... I bought stuff in November, right? On Amazon. And then I returned them. And for whatever reason, they charged me again last month, like during the subathon. And I thought someone stole my credit card because I'm like, mm, I didn't make any purchases from Amazon and my sister didn't make any purchases from Amazon in the month of January, so what the hell? And I called my bank, told them to cancel it, cancel my card, freeze my account, whatever. And I straight up told them someone stole my account and bought stuff off of Amazon. Cause as soon as I got that notification, I get I got right to it. I'm like snip snap snip snap. I gotta I gotta try to claim 
or file a fraud statement, right? A few hours after the whole ordeal, I get an email from Amazon saying they charged me again for these said items. Why would you not send the email first and then make the charges? They fucking made the charges and then hours and hours later, they're like, Oh, by the way, we charged you again for something you bought three months ago. So I had canceled my credit card and everything already. You can't uncancel it. And I just had to tell the bank essentially, I'm stupid, sorry. Please, please disregard everything I said. I mean, I, I'd rather it be legitimate charges than not. But yeah, I mean, I got my refund from Amazon too. Anyways. That was the first time I've dealt with anything like that. Yeah, when I talked to them, they said it would take like months to get it resolved which i'm like that's scary because if i legitimately had fraudulent charges on my credit card and let's say they were in the thousands i guess i wouldn't have to pay for that right because they're fraudulent i don't know how it works actually but that would suck to have to spend months dealing with it Like, they're really fast? When I talked to the bank lady, she said it could take months. So I'm not sure. Ding dong ditch. Uh, Aaron isn't, like, necessarily getting buffed. It's getting QOL changes, which is, like, a buff, I guess, yeah. They know when it's your purchase or not? Do you know what those fraudulent charges were for? Like, where was it used? Was it... Like, penis enhancers? <laughs> or something? <laughs> I don't know why that was the first thing I jumped to. I'm sorry. Okay, I should just move to Hogwarts. Also, Ellis Lope and Xtreme, thank you guys so much for the follows. I am gonna go to Hogwarts now, guys. We're gonna we're done with Maple Story for the day. Thank you guys for watching uh, and enjoying this 269, this Aaron ride with me. But we are gonna move over to the Harry Potter game. Harry, you're a wizard. You're a wizard, Atheris. You're a wizard. That's my. Do I sound like I'm from Hogwarts? No email, just in time. I'm a you're a wizard, you're a witch, Atheris. You're a witch. I just have to change my title. Menu reader. Off. Press space bar to toggle. That's creepy. Um. Thanks, Ellis. Happy Maplin. Don't try to buy a five thousand dollar print Canon printer with your card. And your bank stopped it, right? Before it went through. Okay, so we were actually gonna do this first before we start making our character. So, we're gonna see what house I should be in, what Patronus, what wand I should use, I guess, what should be assigned to me. Apparently people are going to chat spoiling the story. I'll sub mode if I have to, but I don't want to sub mode unless it's necessary. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so I don't want to... I don't want to punish my community for something that hasn't ha happened yet. Uh, I guess sort of now. Okay. Moon or stars? I personally like the stars more. The moon is... I mean, yeah, if you have a telescope, it looks cool, but to the naked eye, it's just a white big ball, which... Technically, stars are just small balls to your naked eye, but at least there's many of them. I like that. Which road tempts you the most? The twisting leaf-strewn path through woods? The wide, sunny, grassy lane. Narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley. Cobbled street line with ancient build- Ooh, this one. This one. 100% the cobbled streets. I l So when I went to London, Paris, and Barcelona, one of my favorite things was just like walking around and just enjoying the architecture of the, of the cities. It's just so- I love buildings that- have history to them instead of like walking around calgary and it's like everything's so modernized i mean it's just it's just different it's just different if you could have any power which would you choose the power to read minds nah man i ain't trying to read minds i <laughs> i would be so insecure if i could read minds because then people never say what they truly mean and you know i just ain't trying to get attacked like i'm, I'm not trying to get no stray bullets reading minds you can manipulate people like crazy wait but i thought it's just reading my oh manipulate what the fuck i'm not trying to manipulate people why would i want to do Uh, it, uh, the power to change the past. Like, sometimes I do want to change the past. You know, when I was talking about my most awkward moment and I gave that girl the finger guns in the washroom, like... I wish I could change that, but at the end of the day, like... It doesn't even matter. Our past is what created us to what we are now, and... You know what? Yeah, I kind of want to change it. I hate how I am now. Maybe I will want to change the past. I don't like me now, so maybe. We'll see. Depends on how intriguing the other spells are or whatever. Powers. Um, Yeah, I'm playing this dude. What's up? Power of invisibility. I feel like it's kind of useless to be invisible. Unless you're in America, where you're, like, actively trying to dodge bullets. Anyways. Uh, power to speak to animals. I already can speak to animals. My Bennett boy knows I love him. Power of superhuman strength. Eh, I don't really care that much. The power to change your appearance at will. I feel like to be able to do this... You also want to manipulate people. Um, what difficulty am I going to play on normal? I don't know. If there was teleportation, I would 100% pick teleportation, but there isn't. Um, I can just tell you what I get, Zebra. Hi, Steven. Good morning. I actually... Oh, this is a toughie. I think maybe superhuman strength, because how cool would it be... ...to see this skinny-ass forearm, this skinny-ass arm... ...and then you get the living shit beat out of you from this skinny-ass arm. Like, how cool would that be? People would try to rob me because they look because I look like an easy target, but then I end up robbing them instead. I think superhuman out of all of these. Yeah. We already have a magical <laughs> calling you. 
If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Not a cat. Mm. So when I was a kid, I used to catch frogs with my brother and sister. After uh, ra every rainfall, we'd kind of go outside and catch frogs. So I feel like a toad. Birds just scare me. I actually used to catch birds though as well. Like wild birds. We just leave a cage outside, put some bird food in it, and some unsuspecting dummy flies into the cage, eats the food, and wah! Bam! Close the door on them. They're stuck. You're mine now. But I'm gonna pick Toad. Harlequin. Yo, the dragon Toad looks sick. Aww. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to be cool. Kind of like the oh shoot, I can't. I don't like this one. I kind of like. Well, I actually kind of like this one, the Natterjack. This one's too much. Overdoing it. Oh no, guys! I don't know which one I want: Dragon Toad or Natterjack. They're both cool. Patch the game tomorrow. Is PC still buggy? I hope not. Honestly, this seems kind of basic. I think we can go Natterjack. So stuttery. God, I hope not. I'm trying to play with ray tracing ultra everything right now. What instrument most pleases your ear? Piano, drum, violin, trumpet, piano. The piano's just so beautiful. Would I rather be liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, praised? Low-key praised, because I've never had... My parents haven't really ever praised me in my life. I'm just trying to get some praise. I'm trying to... You know, I think I might pick praised, because, uh... That's something I've never experienced. Mm. Yeah. Let's do that. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, cowardly? Well, I am a coward, so... Ordinary? I am pretty basic. I don't... Selfish? Ignorant? I am pretty stupid. I don't like being called stupid though, because my family used to call me stupid all the time. Because I couldn't like... Because I visually couldn't see something. It's like, they would tell me to pick... Like, hey, can you hand me this? And then I literally can't see or find where they're at, what they're asking me to hand them, and they would call me stupid because I couldn't find the thing they were trying. I don't want to be called ignorant. Ignorant. Left or right? Well, I'm right handed, so. Yeah, I like the right. Oh god, what do you guys think I'm gonna be Slytherin, Hufflepuff? I'm gonna be Shell Gang. That's what I'm trying to be. 12 hours you've crashed stutter? Ravenclaw? Gryffindor? Slytherin. Don't tell- what's a Hufflepuff? I am a Hufflepuff! Wait, sorry, what? Okay, what's a Hufflepuff though? Are they bad? Why does Tiger say Hufflepuff Pepe Point? Wait, is that bad? Okay. You probably know that some Hufflepuff's most renowned members include Nymphodora Tonks and Cedric Diggory. 
fuck, man? I don't remember anyone. Oh, no. Yo, I'm in the same clan. Was it house? Not clan. I'm sorry. I'm in the same house as Robert Pattinson, Edward Collins. I'm gonna take it. I know he was kind of a evil asshole, but... Who's, who's Nymph Fedora Tanks? Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't remember her. Hufflepuffs are losers? What? If he's a loser, then I want to be a loser with him. I need to rewatch Harry Potter. Um, but did you know that Hufflepuff's house ghost, the Fat Friar, still resents the fact he was never made a cardinal, or that Hufflepuff has produced the fewest dark wizards of any house at Hogwarts? Is that a good thing? Man, I don't remember him either. I'm re-watching the movies after this. Her color changes with her mood. Damn, I don't remember. And I've watched the movies twice. And you're not alone. Zero fellow Hufflepuffs? <laughs> and you're not alone. Wait. Does that make sense? The Sorting Hat has spoken, and you're not alone. Zero fellow Hufflepuffs have been sorted into this loyal Hogwarts house today. Bro, I am alone. What do you mean? I'm a freaking loner. <laughs> Wait, I am a loser. I have no friends. Wait, this is actually so messed up. This is so messed up. But he's a Hufflepuff too? I didn't finish the... His movie. Ton re-roll. Congratulations, I'm Perfect Gabrielle Truman and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Hufflepuff house. Our emblem is the badger, an animal that is often underestimated because it lives quietly until attacked, but which, when provoked, can fight off animals much larger than itself, including wolves. That sounds kind of sick. They called me a loser, they actually did! <laughs> you can't produce dark wizards if no one is in your house. Bruh. Well, I'm not gonna re-roll because these are like my legitimate answers. I am a Hufflepuff and I have to accept it. <laughs> our house colors are yellow and black. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. And our common room lies one floor below the ground, on the same corridor as the kitchen. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. You telling me- I'm sorry, just one more time. You telling me this game that has hit over a million viewers on Twitch, literally no one else is 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 a hufflepuff that's loyal huh you telling me that there's no there ain't no way there ain't no way it's my friends on my account which would also tell me i'm a loner once again oh today I guess today just started, right? Copium? <laughs> Whoa. Oops. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon hope, happiness, the desire to survive. Oh, this is the patron. Is that a patron? I remember this part of the movie. 
You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are time. Go with your instincts. Oh god, okay. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. I... When I hit 22 stars on MapleStory on my CRA top. That was pretty amazing. Glitter shine glow glow. Ah! I don't know. Glowing's kind of cool. It's like glow potion and uh, Misty Islands. Bone blood. Blood. I hate bones and fish. I'd rather, rather be bloody than bony. Oh wait, I am bony. bony. Around, over, under, under. I should have chosen around. Around. I saw a claw or it might have been a fang. Keep going. Together. Oh, not alone. Nah. When I'm playing Phasmophobia, I'm trying to... Trying to be with others. Was it between crow and wolf? Ah, uh, ah, uh, come, ah. Uh, Ah, uh, comfort! That's why I'm wearing this. I'm trying to be comfortable. Click and drag and release for your Patronus. I'm a sparrow! That's kind of cute. What did you guys get? If anyone's done it. Oh, I'm this basic ass bitch? That's it? Wait, I don't want to be- I don't like anything I'm getting. <laughs> it's cute here, but it, like, if you search a sparrow... Uh, uh, there's so many in Calgary. They're like the pigeon of Calgary because we don't have pigeons here. King Cobra, are you serious? Wait, I'm actually a loser. I am. I'm actually a loser. The Patronus turned. It was cantering back towards Harry across the still surface of the water. It wasn't a horse, it wasn't a unicorn either. It was a stag. It was a shining bright it was shining brightly as the moon above. What does my patronus mean? Um sparrow. Bruh! I'm such a loser, they literally don't even have sparrow on here! <laughs> Bro, first I'm alone in my house and now they don't even show my Patronus. I don't even know what a sparrow means. Top 20? Oh, damn! I'm not even a top 20? I'm gonna say this, but I knew you were a Hufflepuff. Okay, I don't know if this is an- I am starting to actually feel like it is an insult because I'm literally nowhere. I'm like a nobody. <laughs> I'm so offended right now, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Sparrow Patronus meaning. Sparrow. Having a sparrow as your patronus means you find comfort in convention, routine, and tradition appeal to you and you feel and you like feeling like you belong and are needed by your inner circle. Damn! Did this shit just attack me and call me insecure? Cause you're kinda not wrong. What? 
You're not really the sort to go out seeking attention, but I'm a content creator. All we do is seek attention. I actually hate attention in real life. Like, outside of streaming. You like your creature comforts and are single-minded in your personal ambitions, but woe to anyone who presumes that you, your targeted ambition and modest nature makes you weak or ineffectual. You are strong in your convictions and devoted to the ones you care about, and those two traits make you a force to be reckoned with. Are these like um, astrological signs? Astro astrological astronomy? Astrology. Astrology. Make it very general. So that I feel a sense of uh, relation to it. Excuse me. Um, where was I? Whenever you find peace on the precipice of despair, this Patronus will swoop out of your wand to re your rescue. It will sing a sweet, uplifting song in your ear, and the relentless rhythm will steady your heart rate and encourage you to clench your jaw a little tighter and raise your wand a little higher. If the Dementors think you are so insignificant, then you'll just have prove you'll just have to prove them wrong. As your Patronus is the Sparrow's Hawk, you find comfort in preparation. That is true though. Like when I go on vacation, I have to be prepared. I constantly have nightmares. Even if I don't have a vacation coming up, I have nightmares about a um, forgetting about having a flight and then I didn't pack. And so I end up going to my vacation spot with nothing and it's legitimately a nightmare it's very scary for me because <laughs> then i'll arrive at my vacation spot and i will want to do all these things like go swimming and stuff but i can't because i didn't pack bathing suit or like, i can't charge my phone because i didn't bring my charger my phone charger like these are the types of nightmares i legitimately get in real life <laughs> Sparrow, both Sparrow and Sparrowhawk. Having a King Cobra as your Patronus means you find comfort and grace. You are someone who is cool and calm under pressure, but beware to anyone who crosses you, for your mouth is just as venomous as your guardian's. Ooh, don't cross Turk. Uh, it is best for you to be ready, that way you can formulate a plan before jumping into a situation head on. If you have an inkling of what to expect, you easily examine the challenge and then take it in stride. This helps you stay on track and level-headed as you dislike to focus on the small details for too long. Interesting! You are very logical and focus on seeing every opinion to make sure yours is correct. Um... Sparrowhawks... Rep... Oh no, that's a Sparrowhawk. Never mind, that's a Sparrowhawk. We ignore Sparrowhawk. This is me. Okay. Interesting. Now my wand. We in House of Hop and Pop? I mean, the House of Cool, yeah. I have a Sparrow as my Patronus. I would describe myself- Okay, what do you guys think? I'm like- I feel tall for an Asian female. But I'm probably- not. I'm only 5'6". But that might just be- ab For an Asian female, I feel like I'm tall. I have like black eyes, man. Was the day you were born an even number? April 8th. Um... How would you describe yourself? Not statistically. I think I'm tall for Asian female. Uh, do you pride, most pride yourself on my optimism? I have none. I'm like not determinate. My origin? Nope. I'm not original. I'm like Brazil. Oh fuck! I'm um, nothing. I don't really pride myself on anything. Resilience? Psst. 
my kind my kindness okay sounds very hufflepuff bro what the fuck can you stop saying that <laughs> it's offensive my kindness i think i'm a kind person i don't really like i don't think i'm anything else Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue towards the sea? I kind of want to go to the sea. Mm. Yeah, I think the sea. I'm 100% speaking like- How does a Hufflepuff speak? Do you most fear... Heights? <laughs> uh, maybe darkness? I isolate myself on a daily basis. I like being alone. I am pretty scared of heights. One of my biggest fears. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Glittering jewel. Sounds cool. But kind of, what would a golden key bring me? Maybe a scroll. Actually, a magical artifact. Oh, magical. Either the key or the scroll. It's like, what would the key open? Bound scroll? Dusty bottle? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with the key. Silver dagger. I don't even want a silver dagger. It's like the last thing I'd want. I think I want a key. Silver lime wood with a unicorn core 13 three quarter inches and slightly yielding flexibility. This unusual and highly attractive wand wood was greatly in vogue in the 19th century. Demand outstripped supply and unscrupulous wand makers died to stand- Wait, is it important to read this? It's a lot of reading. Hermione Voldemort! Yo, I got the same wands as these badass beaches. I'm happy. I'm a Hufflepuff with Dumbledore's wand. <laughs> Generally the most difficult to turn into dark arts. Interesting. Okay, well... That's what I am. What's creating your portrait? Oh, I don't really care about this. So I'm a Hufflepuff Sparrow with a silver lime wand. I learn dark arts in the game. Yeah, there's like a dark arts battle arena with a deluxe package that I got. Um, I guess we just go into the game now, yeah? All right, let's go into the game, eh? Is it connected? Yeah, connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I did this already, but I didn't do my character creation, so I guess the... Just... I have to redo it. Whoa, what is that? 
Sorry, when I was going through, I could see, like, artifacting. Um, except... I've already done this, though. Okay, let me just... Oops. Let me try this again. I already linked my stuff. Last night, but... Try again. Well, at least we know the quiz is... What is wrong with you all? Why, why am I... Why do I have to be a Hufflepuff? Why did you all think I was a Hufflepuff? I don't understand. Okay, let me link- yeah, I linked my steam. Okay, I should be good, I think. Well done, you've linked your Harry Potter club. House Hufflepuff, wand, unicorn, hair, silver, lime, 13 and 3 quarter inches, slightly yielding. Your game experience will be customized in the Beaked Skull Mask and House Fan Attic School Row will become available as gear appearance options. You accepted Hufflepuff? I mean, it is what I am. I am what I am, so I'm accepting it, but... Y'all making me sound like a loser and actually... Harry Potter, I mean, the freaking website made me feel like a loser too because it said there are zero other <laughs> Hufflepuffs. <laughs> This colorful cloak features a quilted house mask on the back. That is pretty nice. You have to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Guys, look, I have everything on ultra with ray tracing on. Let's see how terribly my computer runs. Y'all are gonna witness my computer breakdown on this live stream. Should I increase my FOV? I'll just go in the game first and then we'll see. Just do a little bit. Uh, Raven. <laughs> Funny one. Make sure to change graphic qualities. I have everything on max max. Max. This is considered barely visible, right? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. That's my, <laughs> wait, that's my English action. Wait. Term one begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. <laughs> As you may be aware, I don't know, the decree of the reasonable restriction of un uh, underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, ah! I'm gonna stop. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliezer Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to cast to the castle for the start of the term feast and the sorting ceremony. That accent gives Hufflepuff energy. I swear to God, Sark. I swear. <laughs> oh, I have to make my character right. Should I make myself? I guess so, because I'm a Hufflepuff. Um. Oh, I suck at creating myself. Wait, is my face circular? Wait, 
Like, is this my face? Or is mine oval? My face is ugly, thanks. Thanks, bro. Thanks. It's my brother. Um... I don't know. Maybe a little bit more oval. That's toxic. Welcome to my family. Wait, this? Maybe this one. I do have glasses. Oh god, I can only be a nerd? Okay, in this fantasy, I have no glasses, okay? That's my fan- um... That's my dream. I think this is... Close enough. Oh, I'm actually pretty white. Wait... Am I secretly white? I'm secretly white. Wanna stay in case the angry people kinda need to be banned? Um... No, I can deal with it myself. In your fantasy, you're Hufflepuff? <laughs> yeah. Can't go too crazy on my fantasy, you know? Sit through character creation and then go. No worries. Um, I do have drops on though, so if you guys want the drops, feel free to chill, but otherwise, you will be missed. Hi, Jay. This is like the closest to my hair, I think. Well, I usually have my hair up when I'm not streaming, but. I think that's my hair. I don't think there's anything else. So let's just do this. Hair color. I'm I actually have brown hair. But it's very dark brown. So maybe I should just have black hair. Cause this is too light. Okay, let's just do that. I mean, this looks kind of brownish anyways. Uh, do I have scars? How do these look? Can I have a slit eyebrow? I used to actually have a scar like this, kind of, but this was eczema in junior high. And people made fun of me for the eczema on my face. Sad times, sad times. Okay, I don't have any- wait, I do! I have one right here. Wait, Is it that? Oh, this is- this is close enough. This right there? Complexion? I don't know. I do get red really easily. Oh my god, the eye bags. That's more accurate. <laughs> Wait, this literally has just eye bags. I feel like it's kind of accurate. I think we might go with this one. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with the eye bags. My eyebrows. Wait, how do my eyebrows look? Uh, 
like this. I think like that. Okay, this might be me. This might be me. How in depth does character creation get? I have like black eyes. No, there's no. Is that black? Oh, I guess that's the most accurate then. In my fantasy world, my eyes aren't as black. They're brown. I hate how black my eyes are. I mean, let's just go with this. Eyebrow color. Um. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Oh man, I listen to my voice all the time, but I don't know how my voice sounds. I am indeed a student. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Let me do this one. Let's do this one. Wait one sec. Rumbable, thanks for the follow. Um, I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Snitch on you to Twitter? Oh my god. No, I will ban them all. Uh, first name, Emily Atheris. Yeah. Atheris. Emily Atheris. Ready? Uh, didn't they shut down that website? Wait, I can't change my eye shape? Oh, so there's just the face shape. But there's no eye shape. So, oh, I thought it was more in depth. No, it's close enough. Right, it's close enough. Start our journey. Okay, actually, before I do that, I really have to pee. I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run um, a quick ad as well, just to turn off pre-rolls. Um, I will be right back. Be right back.
Okay. Let's go into the game. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. I am pretty it's a white, pity aren't we didn't you? have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the I spell. I wanted smaller the eyes. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time began. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I look old? George, I look like a mid-30-year-old woman. That's what you're finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatre girl. Do I normally look like that? It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. I have been Ages looks old. since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Is it possible to make myself not look so old? Teenagers. Teenagers slash young adults? I don't know. Gotta reset the game. Okay, I don't just be a mid 30 year old woman going to Hogwarts. Oh my god! That dude just like contorted his body all over the place. Warner Bros. Games! Is it too loud? Or should I make it quieter? Avalanche! Avalanche? <laughs> I think it's too loud. Lord of it. Oh, I missed what that said. A theory is failing to get her a wizard GED and has to go back to school like that one movie with Adam <laughs> I don't know which movie that is. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have I asked... I do look white. Mentor. I don't look Asian Professor at all. Fee is not only an exceptional teacher, He's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted. I was trying to make myself. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince Rag my colleagues at the Ministry, oh, I Ragnarok? believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh my god. 
You just look at the camera. Merlin's beard. Oh. How did you wait? I okay. am the choke. Oh my god. That man, he's dead, right? He's dead. He's dead. Does he have his seatbelt on? Oh no, that it doesn't even matter. It does not matter. Sometimes seatbelts don't save your life. Oh, okay, wait, that came out of nowhere, man. Oh. Are you gonna open a portal for me? Oh, they're going for this, yeah? Hey, I chose the golden key for my wand. Accio. Is that the teleport skill? Accio. Accio. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. No, it's to grab things? Oh. Take I watched the movies it's twice. I don't remember push. anything. The stuff will write you in a second. Win Wiganweld heals me. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? It's the key. <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Um... Sorry, I just want to increase my frames a little bit. Go to 120. Yeah, I got ray tracing on. We're on full ultra and everything. Oh, this is this is what graphics max max quality. How far did that port key take us? Oh, from London and the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either it of us expected. Pretty. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Yeah, I want to explore Let's this see place. If we it looks find sick. A path, however faded it may be. Can I use anything? Follow Professor Fig. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Look at that ray tracing. Seems to have been lost to time. Ray tracing works on the shadows. <laughs> Ray tracing in action! Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Oh, oh can I use the path down below? Can I this cast way. spells? I can raise my wand. Tap him, boop him, no boop him on sir, the nose. That's why was it? your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. How do I turn? I, like the quest is showing is on the place? left. I can't it's close not it. Enough here. Oh, there. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Cat perform, or I just tap it. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my mom just got home. Use your camera to select an active target. Whoa. Okay, these pods probably have nothing. I'm used to playing Dark and Darker. I was playing Dark and Darker the past two days, and uh, unexpected. Just when I see a pot, I want to break it so that I can get some jewelry to sell to the merchants. Is it easier to play on controller? But you have to aim and stuff now. Oh. Damn, these parkour skills though. We're close now, it's just ahead. Let's take a look at the view. Ooh, I can imagine being here in real life. It must look so pretty. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, if I think the key bindings are too awkward, I might switch to controller, but for now it's okay. Oh, ho, ho. Steady yourself. those clouds look so real. Reparo. Oh my god. I'm getting goosebumps. This man is strong to be able to rebuild this plot of land. Almost Dang. there. Look at that. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my god, is that ray tracing? <laughs> Look at those light rays. Look at those light rays, though! Such rays, much tracing. The minimap shows your surroundings with the purple thing being you. Um, and then the yellow thing is the objective. Cool, cool. Okay, well, let's just go to the yellow thing then, eh? My brightness too high. It, it looks a little washed out. Where's my brightness adjuster? This is graphics quality gameplay. Am I blind? Oh, here, right? Where the hell is the brain? I don't know what this is. Oh, this isn't docks anything, okay. Film grain. This is just graphics. This is audio. Gameplay. Can you not change the brightness? Did I mess up? Oh. Hog 
Hogwarts Legacy Brightness Display Settings? Am I blind? Not here. I YouTubed it. No. I made the brightness too high. And jump the video right now. There are some parts of the game. And then go to the display setting right here. I can go over to image calibration where I can adjust the brightness or HDR parameters. So select this and you can. Wait, am I? Huh? And then go to the too dark or it may be washed out. If I press options and then go to the display setting right here. Display options. Image calibration. Man, that was hard. <laughs> okay, this is barely visible. Maybe this will make it look less washed out. Uh, this is like extremely barely visible. Let's see. Does it look better? That enchanted oh, no. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Lipton, thanks for the follow. What's this? Professor Fink! Oh, do I walk through it? Oh, oh he's here. How did he hear me? I just... He was all the way over there. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. Look at the distortion. That glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. Oh yeah, that does look like the container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are Whoa. we? Whoa! Look at the reflection on that! The ray tracing is insane! Oh, it's one of these guys, the bankers, yeah? Hello? Are they call it Gringotts? <clears throat> Said their name, his name. Oh, those nails are beautiful. Oh, it's the bang. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> more water. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. oh. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Oh my god, what are we gonna find? Stay close. a bit after this part. Uh, she have to go to work the or cards, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would be so scared riding this. I have a fear of heights. Actually this looks fun. Whoa you can look around 
Oh, no. see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just oh, beneath the name of the vault you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? So it's like a they are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. This is sick. A what? Oh. <laughs> Oh, why would they have that go straight through the waterfall? It's a security measure. Experience oh, the I see. Before, have you heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> I already Simply know I'd be screaming on the way down. <laughs> Why are they so calm? Wow, his hand is huge. Wait, I just noticed how big their hands are. Vault number... 12. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Actually, I don't look that old. No, I do. <laughs> I still look like I'm in my mid thirties, frick. <gasps> Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. I didn't see it. I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Substitute teacher vibes. <laughs> I. Yeah, no, I can't even deny Here it. <laughs> you kind of do look like that. Maybe not a substitute teacher. Maybe like a teacher's assistant. You know? A TA. It's my clothes. I look so old. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. Almost hit that booty. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Better get new clothes. I, the deluxe edition. I bought that. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Look at how the scarf moves. Oh, while he's walking, it's incredible. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What? Professor Buck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Set your wand with the mouse and guide it. Aha! Man, I suck at this. R. Cass Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Whoa, it's the sign the again. Well, What's that's that? a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. <laughs> that symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the book you can see. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to... Yo, this is sick! Look at the sparks Light flying! Away. Oh, I don't know what you just said. I'm so sorry. I was so busy. Trust... I was looking at colors and lights and sparks. Revelio? This is no ordinary vault. 
Luma, Akio. Do you think this is some sort of test? Revenia. I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Excuse me, sorry. Woke up super early. Overwhelmed with cosmetics. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Different fashion for what a different day. That glow again, but on the floor. Rebellion. Yeah. Lumos. What happened? When I Whoa. moved past the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Oh, he didn't see the glow? You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Mm. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. <sighs> so hard to cast a spell. You've acquired the wand lighting charm. Um, Lumos creates a light. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I press one. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow oh. the light. It's just how you learn it. It's just to get the arrow through Chrissy. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Look out! Protego. Protego. Why does that sound like food? Oh my god, I'm so weak. Oh shoot, okay, so holding? Wait. Oh, Q to block incoming attacks. Oh god, Jesus. I'm about to die. I don't know how to use my heal. I don't remember. Oh, gee. I'm gonna die in tutorial! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I almost died in tutorial! I drank all my HP pots in tutorial! Wait, normal? I, I, uh, I was. Uh, I don't know if I should go easy. I should. <laughs> oh. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Because you're hungry. To go? I already ate. Hufflepuff gameplay. The wisps of magic. Oh seem God, to I do oh, deserve to be in Hufflepuff. <laughs> The quiz wasn't wrong. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Uh. Okay. Is this a puzzle game? I'm gonna regret buying this if I have to do a lot of puzzles. Oh, I should just stand here. <laughs> it seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to. No, I'm alone. No flipping way, bro. I have no HP pods. What? How did my Q not work? Oh, thank God. 
Holding Q during Protego to stun enemies with Stupefy. Stun enemies take extra damage. I should hold it. Okay, actually, this part's easy. If you just go away from them. I feel like you need a reaction time for this. I'm a boomer, I have no reaction time. This is kind of fun though. One of my favorite things to do in Dark Souls and Witcher is counterattacking. Or parrying, sorry. Yeah, it's fun. Like, I actually have to be on my feet, and I have to, uh... I have to time it. It's fun. Oh no, if I find the tutorial hard, this is gonna be even harder! <laughs> or, like, actual combat's gonna be even harder. A lot of Harry Potter games are puzzle-based. You guys are gonna witness how stupid I am, and Damn. Oh man, I just can't take any hits because I have no HP pods. Whoa, this side has nothing. Revenia. Oh? What's this? Whoa, I actually found money here. Huh. I wonder if I would have found money in those other areas. Probably not. Detect which direction you're approaching from the portal. Yeah, that is cool. I should have refilled my water. Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Oh, I remember this in the movies. Not a lot I remember. Shows Hufflepuff stuff. Looks like someone from Witcher. <laughs> place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. That beard is and epic. the responsibility that accompanies it. Did the hair look I so nice? what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, 
died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Uh -oh. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. To <laughs> the eyebrows on that guy. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. Oh my and god, hey, look at those hair. There's like random no really long hair. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the key. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! I patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps you'll just kill a man. Start fighting. We'll be more helpful. Use your repelio defensio shieldio. I don't remember what that spell's called. Yeah, he was just doing his job. Oh shit. You mess with the wrong people now, son. He died for no reason. <laughs> Vault 12 is epic as heck. <sighs> Watch it. Yo, he about to get sad on. Friendly fire? What are you swinging at, sir? Goosebumps. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. Where are your never best? Seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Oh, where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. What is a sorting ceremony? Oh! <laughs> Wait, is this where I find out I'm a Hufflepuff? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, this looks so pretty. Those trees look so nice. Wow. Porky Games, Hogwarts Legacy. Picture. Any memories? I gotta start taking more screenshots. I like looking back on my screenshots and being like, oh my god, yeah, this happened. This is cool. Took a screenshot on the castle, should have done that. Yeah, I always forget the screenshot. PC background, that's nice. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems what are you talking about, Jess? appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. 
For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Just needs Jesus. <laughs> I'm about to get crowned a freaking Hufflepuff. <sighs> Phineas, Nigellus, Black. What else Prepare was I hoping for? The headmaster. I kind of wanted Slytherin Fick. or Gryffindor. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were very two different complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Slytherin's just I'll sick. Be in touch. They're like the evil baddies. But instead, no, I had to answer my question. Quiz honestly, and I became a Hufflepuff. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Maybe if I have just chose seat. everything the opposite that I would have chosen, I would have been a Slytherin. A bit creepy, others, aren't you? Look, yeah, I'm in my mid thirties. You, you don't have to say it. Differences and preconceptions, certain expectations. Bro, actually called me old. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by no matter an what, I'll be a Hufflepuff, spirit. right? But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, okay. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead, and your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Oh, okay. I thought there were gonna be like other options that I can go through. No, I won't change. But if I choose a different house, like do I do I just pick it or does it sort me again? I I want to respect the sorting hat, okay? Take a look. Oh, I pick it. Okay, I just want to read the description. I will be a Hufflepuff though. Hufflepuff known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. I ain't got patience nor hard work. Gryffindor known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Oh, actually, I have none of that either. Slytherin, Slytherin is cunning ambition and hunger for power. Ravenclaw is known for intelligent, creative, and witty people. I don't belong in any house, yo. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think like... I feel like I belong in a Ravenclaw. Like, minus the intelligence part. But I'm still gonna pick Hufflepuff just because the Sorting Hat told me I'm a Hufflepuff. Okay, but I feel like I should be a Ravenclaw. I should. I think the Sorting Hat on that website was wrong. It was like it malfunctioned. We have to send it back to the manufacturer. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here. This oh, season. it changes it. Oh wait, let's press the other one and see how it sounds. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. And you've already mined 
quick to learn. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Okay, I'll pick Hufflepuff because I bet no one, no one goes Hufflepuff. No one. I'll just choose Hufflepuff. F it. You are Hufflepuff. Well, you're no one as well. Yeah, let's just go Hufflepuff. Screw it. Better be Hufflepuff. I'm sorry, Graxter, I didn't mean that. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. I don't want to play Quidditch. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> Quite an entrance. Look at that it's ray tracing. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Is that Ron's as mom or something? It is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this Grandma? way. Grandma? I mean... Grandma. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance? Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. This is a hundred years ago. Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I can't believe the sorting hat called me old. I'm still thinking about that. This do be pretty. Look at that. Bro, I'm only turning 26 in two months. Chill. Yeah, looks like everyone's gone. It's not I've that old, is it? Aaron Link? Um, if you can one shot already, you might as well get it for the extra EXP. Okay, I'm gonna get some more water. Give me a sec. Oh yeah, guys, um, so, uh, Discord Movie Night for The Last of Us Episode 5 is gonna be this Friday, same time, so 
Um, 6.15 p.m. Pacific, 7.15 Mountain, 8.15 Central, 9.15 Eastern. I really want to watch Harry Potter again. I don't know if I'll make that a uh, Discord movie night as well. What the heck is the Uri? This is the Uri. The company sent me this. The Last of Us episode 5 is gonna be this Friday, and then I wanna watch, um, Harry Potter movies. I don't know when. Well, I might do that as a Discord movie night. We'll- we'll see. Since we're playing the games, it'd be cool to do movie night for Harry Potter if anyone wants to rewatch it. Harry did not use a single spell in the entirety of the first movie. Really? Isn't the first movie, like, two hours long? Anyways, here's the Discord if anyone wants to join it. Hi, Callum. Okay. It'll be my third time watching it, um, but... This is my bedroom, it's kinda nice. Wait, I wonder how Slytherin, Gryffindor, or even Claw how they look. Is is Slytherin like all all dark and edgy with got with like red flames and stuff? I don't know. With like gargoyles and whatnot. Hmm. Hufflepuffs have the color black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. What is happening? Dude, I just ate some magical, magical candy. Should we Google the rooms? I mean, I'm not gonna replay this, probably, so... Yeah, let's Google. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy Slytherin Room. All common room locations. Wait, I haven't even been to my own common room. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't even... This is a dorm. I should go to my common room first. Whoa! It's so pretty. Wow. People are gossiping about me. Is that a platypus? Like, <laughs> that's not. That's that's a platypus wannabe. Well, uh, what is that? Is that Geralt as a horse? Why does that look like Geralt of Rivia as a horse? Whatever they're called, uh, centaur. I suppose some introductions are in order. I'll introduce myself to these cupcakes. <laughs> I'm just eating everything. <laughs> Girl, you gotta stop. You're drinking everyone's drinks and eating everyone's cakes. I mean, I guess those are for everyone, but still. The best way to learn how That's to fly good, is isn't it? Trial. Oh my god, oh, is that the fryer guy? Cool, okay. Oh, hello. Lenora Everlay. She's Everlay. Illegal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, Thanks for making me feel better, Lenora. Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. 
I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I don't like I'm her. I'm rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. I don't like her. She seems like she's like uptight and know it all. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, Bella, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. My voice sounds so weird. It's like echoey or something. Hippodrie. Can I spin that? I can just spin all the globes. <laughs> oh, I should say hi. Okay, so this is the Hufflepuff common. Whoa, what was that? So this is the Hufflepuff common room. Let's take a look at the other Huffle uh, other common rooms. Gryffindor common room. Kind of basic. Not that cool. Slytherin. I kind of like how... Um, I don't know. It just feels very... Comfy? Cozy? Nice? I don't know. Something about it. I like being... I like the night. I like the night. Oh, it's underwater! Yo, that's sick! Hufflepuff... Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Hmm. I think Hufflepuffs is really nice. I really like Slytherin's room, though. I don't really care much about Gryffindor, to be honest. I think it would be one, two, three, four. Number one being my favorite. Ravenclaw is the coolest. I mean, it's nice. I think I would put put it... I would tie it with Ravenclaw, honestly. I just don't like Gryffindor. This is sick, though. Like... Wait. Like, we have a watering cans watering all the plants and... I don't know. I would have to actually go into the common room for Ravenclaw to see if I actually like it or not. Got you, you don't need to be frightened, right. little cat. Oh, let it die, man. Uh, I can't quite reach. It's a cat. It can jump down, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> you went that way. Oh, hey, I thought they were trying to help him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure oh, they you'll are. find your way, all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. <sighs> mm, magical beasts are cool. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. I do sound Nifflers, uh, robotic. Bow truckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back oh, to the Oh, he's got <laughs> muggle blood in him. Blah. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur. Oh, God. Hufflepuffs Thank have you. muggles? Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Oh, I should have chosen a different house. Half muggles, not full wizards and witches. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? She's getting cute. 
Pleasure to meet you. Oh wait, nice how old is she you. though? <laughs> is everything all right? Oh, yes. Like, are these guys teenagers? Considering how I'm older? <gasps> According to so the Tommy, sorting hat? I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Oh, well, was I not supposed to talk about it? Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. 16? Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. It's old enough, I'm sure right? he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Can I change my voice? I really don't so like my voice. Bed yet. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Bitch, I'm here. <laughs> You don't know me already? Oh wait, I want to go over here. Did I eat this yet? I have. I gotta eat everything. Ooh, what's this? I think this is fire. Whoa! I... Oh my god, look at the shadowing on this! Wait, is she blinking? Oh my gosh, she is. Whoa, look at that! Look at the shadows! Isn't that so nice? Oh my god! Wait, is it because I have ray tracing on? Oh, I should save. Oh my god, imagine if I crashed. Are there no auto saves? Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm going into the boys' room. Rebellion. Can I see myself? Whoa, I see myself! That's so cool! Wait, can you go in all of these? Oh, they must all look the same though, yeah? Oh! Level 3 lock? Wait, can I pick lock stuff? Are they eating Chinese? Oh, that's candy. Everyone here probably has diabetes. See how much candy I had in my dorm? Fix that. Someone could trip over that easily. I'm sorry. I'm going through every room. I am I just have to. I wouldn't have known there was a lootable chest otherwise. That's cool though. Wait, there's so many! <laughs> oh, frick. <laughs> Wait, this actually looks different. Yo, he's got a full-on centaur as the wallpaper for that. Nice. I need more Wigan words. Yeah, it's cool. Every single bed has its own little theme. Every every dorm, I guess. Level one lock. Okay, so we found a level three and a level one. I wonder who I'd be pickpocketing. Can I go upstairs? Oh, I can do this. Oh, I probably can't. Maybe I have to talk to the lady first. More food! Did I just go through them? unrealistic game or is it because we're wizards and that's why we can go through them i'm just gonna say it's because we're wizards and that's why the idea of running into things doesn't exist wait I, yeah actually oh wait oh, kind of went through him i'm sorry i need to go upstairs one more time i'm gonna grab me a cupcake first while i go upstairs this is a lot of stairs to go up i need the energy 
Wow. Okay. I... Okay, just leave. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through every room. Just go, just go, just go, Emily. Just go. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates oh. and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Mm. Here you are. If I had photographic memory, I, I could take the test right now after that. Guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Resource. Resource? Resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Follow the Wesley. The Wesley, the Weasley. Can I walk through you? Okay, sorry, I'm coming, I'm coming, Professor. I just get distracted easily. I have ADHD. Is there some sort of like magic to cure that? To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using oh, the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. With UC Bennett. Simply Apple. cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Rumored to contain some of Helga's Hufflepuff's original creation, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dirigible dir plums. Interesting. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire EXP. So you can't get EXP from killing stuff. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. So like discovering about the world and stuff is the only way to level up. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. Field upgrades. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from here. So I just got some circular glasses. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside See moving. and outside of the castle. Kind of. He's so still. Ooh, nuts. There's so many like random things you can interact with. Wait, I wonder how Slytherin's looks here. Or Ravenclaw. Or is it only the common room that's different? 
Oh, it should only be the common room because timing. this part's Perfect Hogwarts. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You can open the map at any time to fast travel. All those flames are fast travel. So I found one in the common room. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Select the great hall. Regions to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flame available in that region okay so the green ones means we've discovered gray means nope the right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest including the astronomy tower uh we unlocked the central hall for me ad to rotate map Fast travel to the central hall. Okay. You skip. So you skip getting EXP? And here we are. are you Quite okay? The These stairs like, are you under level or anything? Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the Whoa. Castle. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh. Look at the oh, reflections. Here. It's the heart of the hive. Oh, it's the reflection of the window. Wow. That's the ray That's tracing in action. Now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. That wasn't my fault. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school oh, so supplies it's a town. you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What exactly is defense against the dark arts? Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts class? Defense what if I want to do dark arts? arts? The name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival. Vague. Specifically vague. about what happened after that. Awful dragon bag, vague, My suspicion vague. is that there's more to the story than a search I think I for say a vague. an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth oh. a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
Can we get your jobs? You just watch, right? I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Do I Good not? luck today. Is and my title a debate? Your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <laughs> You'd think someone would say something. Me randomly casting spells. Isn't it that everyone who has draw? <sighs> Am I debating with my title? Everyone have drops? Yeah, can you refresh the stream and then see if it shows in chat? I'm gonna go to- I do have drops. Oh, okay. You just had to refresh. Thank you, Derp. I'm not debating, thank god. Yeah, if, if you guys want drops, um, and if you were here earlier from MapleStory, just refresh the stream. And you should start getting drops. Thanks, Derp. Oh, I just have to talk to Figgy. Figgy Wiggy. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today. Thanks, you Before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but... I'm very <laughs> certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep. <laughs> I don't remember what I now. said to her. I think I was looking at drops. Upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of, and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Don't confide in Weasley. Are, I believe the Got ability it. you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. <laughs> Weasley's a weasel, apparently. Where do you check drops? Um, it should be like in the chat, and a pop up should show up saying you can earn drops in my stream after you refresh it. Main quests. 
New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments. <sighs> or as quest rewards. I want to do the dark arts one. This one looks sick. The map I got is awful buff. You this will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Attend defense against arts class. Oh wait, I kind of want to use Revelio here. Wait, oh, it's Lenora. Can I just like say what up, girlfriend? What are you looking at? Want to go to dark arts class? Oh, balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty, but it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. I mean, what painting is she talking this entire about? entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Did I see it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Cast Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. All oh, this. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Oh no, there are puzzles in this game. Okay, well, this has to be down here. It should be here. Revenia. Is it not here? Oh, why is there just ew? There's a bunch of spider. Ah, a crepuscular cape. Okay, let's wear our first piece of item, a uh, clothing item. Wait, when did I get the scarf? It looks so bad. Does it provide? Okay, it doesn't even provide any stat. Oh god, get it off me! Get it off me then. Um. Offense. I look homeless. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. I look so homeless. I'm in Hufflepuff. Press F. Wait, where? Oops. Pick the best that uh, item and then you can change. Oh. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this fanatic school robe? Is this with the deluxe edition? Whoa, what the heck? Imagine being Hufflepuff and having this sick ass robe. Oh, this is so ugly. Ah. 
I actually kind of like this. Wait, so does this add? No, it doesn't. And we have glasses that don't add anything. Does it look more like me with glasses on? I hate it though, I look so nerdy. Okay, that's it, okay. Flying mounds? Wand handles? Brooms? Whoa, okay, collections? Interesting, well, there's a... Conjurations? What's a conjuration? There's a lot. Legendary gloves. Oh, it's a an appearance uh, uh, item. Okay, interesting. Ooh, what's in here? Oh god, I'm gonna get. Ben? Oh, I thought he was eating something. He shouldn't have. He's fine. Guys, I'm gonna get so distracted. Oh god, I just want to explore everything. Whoa. Call him Ben. Ben Ben. Benny. It's weird, I never... What is that? This set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Oh, and then you got a club to the head? <gasps> Broken broom belonged to Serene Wartnaby? Hmm. Yeah, I don't call him Benny, surprisingly. Ooh! Silk Robe? I used to play this game called Silk Road. Oh my god, you can put the ro uh, the hood on or and off. It's kind of cool. It is very ugly. This looks... This looks very Hufflepuff, though. Doesn't it? Off on another adventure, are we? Oh my god, I was like, who's talking to me? Dude, I need to learn how to lockpick. Wait, what is that? Oh. Ones like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. So does your hoodie? My Udi. Udi Udi. Where am I? Guys, I'm lost! Ah! What the hell is that? What was that? It just came out of the floor and then it left! What? Wait, this place is huge. Oh, I'm out in the courtyard now. Oh, kitty cat. Is it Pee- I don't know what Peeves is. Can I kill it? <laughs> I can hit it and make it get away from me. GTFO, bro. We only like dogs in this house. <gasps> oh my god, I thought I actually killed it. Oof. Rebellion. 
Huh? What just happened? Oh, it's changing. Is this Weasley? Oh, I found you unintentionally. Stop being a Slytherin. I'm telling you, it's where I belong. Not a Hufflepuff. Soon to be re reversed era of a second year serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take s the seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. Oh. Oh, I can aim by right clicking. I mean, I guess that's normally. Wait, I can cause a havoc in Weasley's room. She ain't even gonna care. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. Just another day in the life of Hogwarts. If I hit her. You've been practicing. Wait. So she's okay with me doing this? What the heck? Okay, th well, thanks for the free money, girl. Huh? They were? Huh? Is it like on the other side? So confused. Okay, okay, guys, okay, okay. What's that dinging mean? You can't imagine that? how inconvenient travel was before I came to New Hammer. I keep getting distracted. No, okay, go back, Emily. Go do your quest. I do want to figure out this painting quest. Whoa. Rebellion. Oh, this is where I, Okay, here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so... Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I'm finding... So oh, wait. Oh, do I bring this to the painting? Uh, the painting? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was a connection. I should tell Amora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Whoa. Oh, it's just gone entirely. Use. Oh my god, that sounds creepy. The ornate fountain features intricately carved statues. There's a lot of these to find. Holy. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? She sounds so angry. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Oh, she's not as mean the as I thought she'd be. I should have seen that. Complete side relationship quests? What is relationship quests? What does that entail? Relationship quests, you say? Hmm? Like friendship? Or maybe a little something more than friendship? Maybe? Um, what's this? Oh, we're in a collection. Okay, what did I get? How do we know? Does it show you? Well, I thought we got something from Light Quest. No. Maybe not. 
Ravenclaw was your destiny? Wait, what's happening? Oh my god, he actually plays the guitar! No, my... My house should have been Slytherin. Look at my robe. I actually kind of don't like it. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, some wizards just flew by. Hey, there's an owl down there. Oh, I can't jump off a bridge? Whoa, look at that! Look at how pretty this is! Oh my goodness. Oh! This is another one of those riddles. Okay, it's got two pillars and a little painting. Two white pillars. Hmm. Must be nearby. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at how those shadows just follow my wand. Do 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 Skeleton of an Irish Phoenix or Augury. Hey, I'm level three. Let's go. Oh god, what was that? <laughs> do you do mind the tiles? Some of them can be most potent. Has one person even tried to sort this dreadful odor? No. Yet I hang in innocence, the brunt of jokes. Why would they leave the hallway like this? Rebellion. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbalus, Mimbalatonia, in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Oh. Do I have an FPS counter on? I get 120 frames. Right now, anyways. I capped it at 120. Do you mind where you're stepping? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Wait, isn't this in that person's bedroom? Wait, but that was really far. Unless that painting exists somewhere else too. Yeah, it's fun so far. Oh no, it must be here then, eh? Oh, this one. Oh, so the other painting should be close by. It's right beside it, eh? Yeah, no spoilers. Thank you. It is really... it's fun so far. It's very fun. Glasses. What am I, a nerd? This is so peaceful. Can I just sit? Wait, that's so cool. That single handedly just made this castle feel more lively. Oh, I can't go past. Rebellion. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Wow. What the heck? Do I have to do something? Blind it maybe? 
so that you can't see. Okay, no, that thing is creepy. It is watching my every move. Alright! Oh, I'll stop. Spin that around. Okay. Let's do our dark arts class. Let's actually get on with the story. Although, I kind of want to figure out... <sighs> This one first. Maybe it's in here. Whoa. Oh. So peaceful. Oh my god, I love this. I can actually run into them. Okay, story, story, let's do the story, damn it. You never have to go through a door for butterfly mirror. Okay. I will I will take that. Yeah. For the most part, I like I wanna figure things out on my own, but I will um that's actually a good tip. So that I don't run around. Waste too much time. What are you up to now? Am I gonna play Valorant? Um... I don't have that installed. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable Levioso. is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Oh, this is Levioso. Wingardium Levioso! My second spell. Levioso! I learned that fast. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cast. Form a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so good. Well done. Mm, that's cool. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Aww. basic cast, and Protego. Protego is my cue. Oh, it's not Defensio. 
Repulsio and whatever. This should be easy. Wait, you're so weak. Use Levioso on me, man. You suck. Not bad for a beginner. You he didn't even touch me. <laughs> Wait, it's black. Oh, am I glitched? Um, I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Avida, Avida Kadabra. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. What's if that what do? I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. He looks so defeated. Nice <laughs> Well, there has to be something in here. And there is! This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales. In 1878. Holy. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh my god, those are creepy. What are they? You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. What? He was so weak. Ha. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was how I whooped you. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mm, it was never my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I have never dueled to make him feel. A little In bit worse about himself. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, this is the you're dark going to need arts to break arena. The rules now and then, whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Till next time. I have decided I do not like this for now, anyways. And I would I just want to look like a regular student. Quest complete. That's what you did. You just want to look like a regular student too. Yeah, I don't want to stand out. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Where am I going? Charms class. Grab myself some more tea. Okay, I cannot for the life of me find where that hidden picture is. 
that location. Well, maybe it's down here. Have I been down here? I have been down here. Hmm. Have I gone further down? Revelia. Huh. What is that? No, I've already been. Oh, this is the courtyard. So I have been here. Oh, this is where I came in from. Huh? This painting depicts a young orphan wizard, Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors. And the dark wizard, Rassid Ziz's region by conjuring a mouse Patronus. A mouse Patronus? So even- you know what? I'm sure my Swallow Patronus could do the same. My my not swallow. Oh, swallow is Witcher. Uh, my sparrow Patronus is gonna come in handy. Okay, if this is upstairs, nice, Jason. Maybe it's up here. Oh god. I never meant to- I don't want to pet any of these cats. They're all evil. You might get a scratch at any given second. Hello? Oh, here? No. Wait, how high does this go? Oh, aristocratic ensemble. Wait, I can. Can I use the toilet? Oh, I can only flush it. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Why is it spewing out water? What the heck is this? What's going on in here? Revenia. Oh, don't tell me. That's muggle fashion, isn't it? I can always tell. So very drab. What did you just say about me? I will break you! When I become stronger, when I become the strongest Hufflepuff known to mankind, I will come back. Emily Atheris will remember this. Ooh, I kind of like this, actually. I like that. <laughs> now I look like I'm mid-40s! Wait. Oh, these are creepy. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna wear glasses. They just, they, they, they serve to make me look older and that's it. Wait, why is this? What if I press F on it? What the heck? That's gross. Huh? Sounds like she's performing some demonic spells oh oops oh oh we found you oh god was it up or down i think we go down oh, i think we go down one more I am directionally challenged, so... Oh, it's up here. Perfect. Lumos. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, well, I guess I have to go upstairs for charms. My charms class. Let's go up more. Okay, but let's go in the other bathroom. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Oh! Let's check the men's stalls. Do they spew out water at me? Wait, is that? Ah! They do! I was gonna say, is that where, um, Crying Myrtle is or whatever? But I think she's in the flooded toilet. Okay, I really- maybe I need to learn a different spell to open those. Oops, are you? Yo, everyone's eating candy! This is what I'm saying! They're all gonna have diabetes! Oh my gosh, everything needs a lock. Moaning Myrtle? Isn't born yet? Oh. Oh yeah, this is like a hundred years ago. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back. To Hello. The Who are you? Can I talk to him? You think this will get his attention? If I can you please stop? I just I'm lonely. There's apparently zero Hufflepuffs today. The sorting hat said I wouldn't be al I'm not lonely. And I'm not alone in the Hufflepuff house, but it still said zero Hufflepuffs joined today. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Ooh, fight! Fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flash? Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble! In trouble you will be! When you <laughs> give pizza smack! She says it's a boot and he says it's a flash! Peeves! Enough! You'll get us all detention! Are they kissing or butting heads? Anyway, it was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack! But you're all in trouble with Professor Flack! Well, you can roll! <laughs> <laughs> What's tab do? Nothing. What does this mean? Oh, is this just like a random dice thing? Ew, get that off. Reveal. Oh my god, I don't understand what this means. So, unicorn... What? Five? What? If I just keep rolling, it surely will hit eventually. Right? Why am I doing it wrong? It has to hit eventually, right? Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, there's always two switches. Oh god, now I can't! Oh, I don't understand this at all. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I think KPQ? I don't know how to do KPQ. Maybe I shouldn't be in Ravenclaw. I take that back. I don't think Ravenclaw is my house. I think Hufflepuff is exactly where I belong. I should never have questioned the sorting hat. Like, goodbye. Goodbye. Revenia. 
I look like a Hufflepuff. Oh, bro, what the? Why do people keep saying stuff? Like, what does that mean? I look like a Hufflepuff. I sound like a Hufflepuff. It's like... I act like a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Your mom's a Hufflepuff. Whoa! Like... <laughs> that was my brother. Oh, this is cool. What's that dinging? Oh, hello. Oh my god, he's chained up. Oh my god. Why? But we caught dead in that Udi. Bro, this Udi is so comfortable. It's, it's cozy. You just jealous. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas, the barmy foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh my god, how are you not dead? You must have died. <laughs> they just keep smashing him out. Okay, you would- this guy has determination and I respect that. It just keeps on cheering on. Thrown into the rivers with those three chains? How far am I? I'm like, literally on my first day. I'm just exploring right now. I'm like, not far at all. I haven't been- I haven't even done my first, like, main quest. Finished my first main quest since, uh, I got to walk around on my own. <coughs> Matil Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge. I'm becoming Southern again. Can I not break these? Rebellion. Damn it. Spin all these globes. Bye bye Okay, maybe I should go to class. Mm -mm. Oh, door? Oh wait, I came from here. Oh yeah, I have to come here. Can I jump off the stairs? Let me throw myself off. Oh! Oh, no fall damage. Wait, you can't make him spill his books? Zero out of ten game. I was- I thought I could bully people. Okay, so 12? Five? Okay, so zero, three... So this has to be two... So, like, is this the total? So this is like two? Or something? I don't... Oh, like, is this... Two, because there's a, two lines, and then four, four, and then the unicorn is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
is maybe it's that uh, I'm just counting the legs okay my logic isn't making any sense maybe it's the spider overthinking Is there no spider? Oh? Wow. Uh, no, I don't understand it. What the hell? I, no, I just, I'm coming back to it later. I thought it was based off of like the squiggly lines or something. Okay, do the quest, Emily, damn it. Get so distracted. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. She's so eager for me to sit by her. So you are the new student. Oh, you're natty. <coughs> she likes riddles. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education. Crucial. Crucial. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page five. I don't even have a textbook. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, you just call me ugly. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Yeah, I get it. I'm ugly and hmm? old. What do you want from me? This entire school is well, making fun of my it age. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. Well, this is what that guy used. Is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves yeah! a little excursion outside. Oh, I go outside. After me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I've been wanting. I want to go outside, take a look at the scenery, look at the ray tracing lighting, the reflections. Oh. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? To put our Dirty grass the touchers. To the test, right? <laughs> oh. Where did you get that wood from? 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Putting me on the spot. Dude, I have to catch up, man. I'm like five years behind. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles up, that's it. Don't lose your composure. Oh. Excellent control there. Splendid. Go, 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 a little bit more, yes! 50, right? Wait, does that mean I only got 50? Like, in total. <laughs> Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. <laughs> but there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Is she a Ravenclaw? You'll be the blue just as before and miss onai you are playing red Can oh god <laughs> okay Here we go. oh she's going Can you do that? Oh, I can! I pushed it. Wait, this seems like the person who goes first has a disadvantage. So disadvantaged for her. Yes! I mean, there's no possible way I can. I can't knock her off because I will. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Well, she literally can't win. I literally won. Like score. remarkable. That's right, I'm perfect. That's right, Natty. You got some competition in the house. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No oh, no. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Oh no. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. I am definitely hitting those boxes. Okay, there's a chance I might hit her to 50, though, is the issue. So I'm just gonna try to get myself to 50 here. Freak! Stop! 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 Thank you. Excellent control there. Don't you dare knock me off! Don't you dare! So lucky! How did you get so lucky? Okay, I'm gonna try to knock this one off, and hopefully, I don't knock my Not own exactly off. Not yeah. Okay. 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 Now I just have to somehow. Do not! Do not! Do not! Don't you dare! Knock mine off. Oh. Yes! She can't win. There's literally no way for her to win. It's over for her. And 
but guess what? Natty, suck on that. Suck on those blue balls, why don't you? <laughs> Am I smirking? My character smirking. Very good, both of you. Well done. Nice. Good job. I will be number one, numero uno, Hufflepuff. I'll take our. I will turn our reputation around. Everyone makes fun of Hufflepuffs. I underestimated you. Is it because I'm a Hufflepuff? To become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> what is wrong with you magic. people? Why do you guys want me to have a cadaver everyone? <laughs> so yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out oh, of the mountainside. Oh, I want to see that. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out that anything. That sounds before. like a fairy and tale. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That sounds so much cooler than Hogwarts. You low rolled this may by coming question, here. But is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? Why would I say the magic is weaker? Without a wand, right? Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using Why a wand. Why would anyone use a wand then? It seems very dramatic. That your way sounds superior. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be Wagadu. here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Aki on humans. If you're so inclined. Damn it, I tried using it on him. Be using it on Professor. A word, if you would. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. <laughs> Quite unsafe, really. Revenia. Hmm? Is there nothing here? <gasps> I'm stuck! You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition was fun. wasn't exactly the lesson that was a lot of fun, actually. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a Crap student tracks, as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hmm. Charms class. Rebellion. I'm really liking this game so far. It's so cool. And I've only done like my second class. I wonder if we'll do more classes and stuff, you know, but... Hello there! You're the new student, aren't you? What do you want? 
Hello. You wanted to speak to me. <laughs> Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering you about. You look more Asian than me. The first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I look so white. Yeah, I messed up. I was trying to make myself. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. I, mean, I see a chest on the mini map. Is that the uh Am I huh? Ooh, what's that? Oh it's this puzzle. I still haven't learned how to figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna use the washroom really quick. Uh, I'm also gonna run an ad, I guess, and I will be right back. Compared to the other tiny ones. Sometimes the prefect sits next to me. Well, one time they did, in the common room. Mind you, it was the only seat left, and I did ask them to. That poor first year trying to get into the Gryffindor common room. I swear the fat lady was having them on. Poor thing had to wait till next day. I'd wager the Hufflepuff common room's the coziest of them all. Simply the fact that it's so close to the kitchens makes it seem more homely. People are always fussing about in my common room. Someone was trying to come up with some sort of pepper hex the other day. I heard that someone cast the Confundus charm on a Ravenclaw fortier so they couldn't answer the riddle. Someone's parents sent homemade cauldron cakes and they shared them in the common room. Think they mistook salt for sugar, mind you. Half-eaten cakes everywhere for days they were. This is the first year my siblings and I are all at Hogwarts together. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with her time, so she knits. Sends us each a new jumper every week. Nothing better than a few pints of butterbeer and a pile of mince pies with my sisters on Christmas Eve. I hadn't met any of my cousins until I came to Hogwarts and found out we were sorted into the same house. I do look forward to going home for the holidays. Mum's pumpkin pasties are the best I've ever had. This is my sister's first year at Hogwarts. Every time she pretends not to see me in the halls, I cast at her with the trip jinx. My brothers and I prefer pumpkin juice with our mince pies. My aunt introduced us to those years ago. My friends and I lose track of the time whenever we're at the three broomsticks. Nearly missed exams one year, we were so engrossed in our butter beers. Did you get your bitter root from Pippin's, or did you pick it yourself? I'm desperately in need of some. We're quite fortunate the school's so close to Hogsmeade. There's nothing like it in all of Britain, you know. About the only place that doesn't come with the risk of encountering a muggle. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rags could do with some competition. If I had to pick one shop, it'd be Glad Rags. Mr. Hill is always very helpful, don't you find? Harry Pippin certainly steered me right with that wound cleaning potion. His potion shop is uh, you find in I'm London. I'm gonna feed Bennett really quick. Oh my god, I didn't realize my tea was... Natty doesn't seem to mind having her mother as a teacher at all. I'd hide in my common room if it were me. Feed the dog, go, Try feed the dog, go. has been passed down from three unruly sisters. had a complexion like a hippocampus egg. Why is he saying that? I think it's because I don't speak well. I was distracted by Peeves and ran face first into Adelaide Oaks the other day. Our books went flying. I think it made Peeves' entire week. Patrick Redding is surprisingly chin, chin, soft, chin. considering he runs a shop as fun as Honeydukes. I'd like to retire to Hogsmeade one day. <sighs> Where's the ad? I guess you got lucky. I appreciate it though. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> Not tracking anything. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found 
inside regions of Hogwarts marked as the black flag. Okay. They give EXP as well. Where am I? Oh, okay, so... Oh. I want to find that. Oh, that's where the Weasley class is. Where's that? Not so far. There is another side quest here. What if I track it? Wait. Oh, yeah. Wait, did I read it wrong? I thought... Wait, so there's a side quest here, but I have to find it or something? How long have you been playing so far? Um... 192 minutes. I've been playing for three hours? I've been playing for three hours, apparently. But, um... I've been walking around a lot and stuff. And I... Lumos. One, two, two, uh, two plus four, which is, uh, uh, is six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. It's this, isn't it? Okay, and then zero, three, two, is it the... Gotta be one of these. Surely, my other die is correct. Wait, no, no, no. I want, I want this. Maybe this will help me. Oh, no, that's just a random page. What the heck? I was just looking up, too. I thought that was like a, a tip. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. I'm leaving. Oh, why are you so shiny? Rebellion. This guy's so angry. One second. No, let's just let's just keep going with the main story. I don't know what the heck I'm doing with puzzles, man. <sighs> I've been here. Reminds me of Sims, like Sims One, when I used to go out to. Hang out with my other Sims friends. Oh no, Bennett wants out of my oh, room. Punch a guy, steal his car. Maybe I can steal wands in the f what the heck? Me. <laughs> Maybe I can I steal brooms. Okay. To go here. Ooh, let's look out here. Can I go in the water? Oh, I can't. Oh, so pretty. I swear to God, I see this man everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, all those statues, you have to use Levioso on, eh? Oh, it's just so pretty. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? Oh! I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Oh my god! <laughs> Those straggly hairs. Oh, uh, another player invading Deke. my game. Is this Dark Souls? Ah, there you are. Deeky deeky do. I trust your first classes went well. They did, Professor. I whooped I heard everyone. As much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Honestly, I really like the combat so far. Maybe this is the Dark Souls. Ah! What the heck, my dog spinning? <laughs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. He's no longer spinning. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. My you Dumbledore wand. Well wand. And but my find the magic you cast with Voldemort your wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar What's with an the Ollivander? shopping Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly no. skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? Yeah, I need more Jake HP pots. I chugged them in the tutorial. ...of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Hmm? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I mean, it's because I was paired against them. Sebastian seems like a batty waddy that like, you know, he'll say things to make your heart flutter, but he doesn't actually mean those things. And that's why I'm going to go with him. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid I'm gonna regret my decision, aren't right I? hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Why did I pick Sebastian? Man sucks at battling. I took- uh, he didn't even what get one shot there? on me. Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm. Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. Reparo? Reparo?
Ah, there you are. That's cool. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do. And yeah, there's a lot of lo looting here. That, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object. Oh, it is Reparo. In the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. Arranged. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> report have you back Rapero to me. In no time. Reparo. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. So you're telling me work experience is more important than having a degree? I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Rolling your R's makes your spells stronger. Why else am I doing it? Stronger. Oh, wait, you can't roll that. This is the right area. Got it. Nice. Repero. A flying oh. page must be around here somewhere. Flying page, flying page. Right there. Brilliant. Might some kind soul help me? What? What do you want? Are you alright? Don't you know who I'm I so am? tall. Zenobi or she's Nick, short. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Hey, I can relate to you, Zenobia Nog. Everyone hates you. Why? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would. She's in Ravenclaw, play. can I go to I your common room? Gobstones. Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Um, that doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Hmm. I'd have done the same. No, that's so mean. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Yeah. <sighs> Sweet talking does work on me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high, Accio. I Leviosa yourself? Can you do that? And then you Accio. Not really. Natty said hello once, but not uh, words. If you can do two spells at once. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. By <laughs> yourself? So... Oh, Zenobia, you precious, precious soul. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, let's go do the gobstone quest now. I mean, I guess I'm here, right? Might as well. My eyes wild. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gobstone. Oops. Oh, 
That's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, well, that was easy. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. That was so easy. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, is there a chest here? Oh, damn it. I uh, is probably inside. No. Does it even exist in Maple anymore? I think it's on rotation. Okay. Like, I thought it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which I feel like would make sense. And then that's 14. And then I need a 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So then this would be a spider, but I'm probably wrong because I tried this already. And then you got like the, 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 the one, uh, uh, 10 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Then you do like the owl or something. And then like, check the door. Where's the other one? Wait, I'm blind. Oh. Statue with an into ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. Okay. Eh? Oh, there's one up there. Oh, I thought it would make like a different sound if you had it right. Okay, well, anyways. What did I say? I was gonna do the owl. There's simply too much information. Is there no owl? <laughs> Fuck. Ow! There is fall damage. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my theory of that doesn't make any sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What if I do a unicorn the other way? <sighs> Harry's not born yet. What is that? That's an eight plus eleven. Nineteen, two, there's spider or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus eleven is nineteen, plus two is spider. What the f Okay, next. Revenio. Gotta think about it some more, I guess.
Should I just find all my gobstones? Oh my god, the gobstones are so freaking far. Okay, let's just find these two gobstones since they're by each other and then we go next. Oh, this is high. It's- it's him again! Peeves! Was he a ghost? Rebellion. There's so many centaurs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Here. Perfect. Oh! Oh my god, it's another door! Oh my god! So owl is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a whole cheat sheet? Oh, so I, I I was doing this as one. So I had the right idea. I just started off wrong. Okay. One, so three. Zero, one, two, three. And then... Uh, zero, one, two, three, five, four. So... What is that? Whatever that is. My god! I had the right idea! I just started off wrong. Ruined highway stair? Oh, now we can get all of them. Oh, what the heck? There's so many of these puzzles. Quidditch gloves? Oh my god, okay. That's, this is gonna give a lot of stuff. So, five, which is, uh, the, that weird looking thing. Wait, so I had an, uh, the right idea as well, so this is five. Oh. Okay, six plus five is eleven. Plus four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Oh my god, these are actually so easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a lot easier than Rebellion. I thought. Who are you? Oh my god, it's a cat. I am robbing them. Taking their chests. Um... What is that? Nine, eight, seven. So I need a one. So we need a unicorn here. That's a five, eleven, plus six. Oh my gosh, we get so many cosmetics. All right, I, I, I will, wait, is that all? Huh? Let's play some fashion story. Eight offense, damn. I still have no hat though. Seven. Is that all, all I got? Okay. I actually, I'm digging that scarf. But what other scarf do we have? Yeah, I'm digging this scarf. I'm gonna keep it. But... The gloves gotta go. It's just weird wearing gloves. Oh my god, look at the physics on the, the gloves. Oh, I'm so glad I was doing this gobstone quest. <laughs> I've got to keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. 
Please, ma'am. Now help me figure this out. Hmm. Okay, we'll just go out. You can't imagine how inconvenient Jesus. Now some of these paintings repeat. They're not all totally unique. Huh? Oh! I just randomly looked up. Perfect. I've never tried climbing a ladder like this. I've always wanted to. I wonder how tiring it is. Yeah, I was weak and wild! I have one whole HP pot now. Oops. Oh, I'm level six. Muriwa Ona. Oh, this is Natty's mom. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy and mistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We're thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. There you go. So this must be where Natty... Oh, that's Natty's mommy. Eh? That's kind of cool. That's really cool how we can see her. I can't talk to her, but... Can I just slide down? What can my tea do? Oh! These are all my cool skills! My uh spells I've learned. I'd like to keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay. Let's uh let's go here. We're gonna actually use some a little bit of fast traveling in this game. Um Cyberpunk though, I don't think I will fast travel. I'm gonna try not to. Come back to this another time. Quests may have level or tool requirements in order to activate them. Check quest style. Oh! I- Oh yeah, I need a paro. Right. Right, right, right. I forgot. Reparo, reparo. Wait, am I not? Where art thou? Oh, I wonder how the nighttime looks. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's. Oh, is it stones. raining? Oh, you can see like the little rain splats on my robe too. This is kind of nice. Look at that. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Just something shearing away at the bushes. Okay. I trust the oh, crap, I man! I wasn't expecting Marvelous. you to talk until you I interacted with you. On basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, it's F. Wow, it's not all space. Those are really easy. I wonder if there will be harder ones. Mending charm can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of environment. Oh, sick! I can do that? I can do that? Wait. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice so mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps the jilted lover thought it too accurate and glitched out. Can I repair them? Oh, like I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> and what am I doing now? I guess I go to the main story. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I was just trying to... Uh, grab those I owls. High places around the school for some... Can that spell repair a broken heart? Who hurt you? Is it Sebastian? I'll kill him. I'm seeing him now. Sebastian better not break my heart. Damn! Owl Stop stalking me! This guy is everywhere. What am I trying to repair? <laughs> well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies. Wait, she, he slived there? Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. I don't know why, Shall but we? I keep thinking Slytherin is purple. That'd be cool. Purple. I mean, it looks more evil that way. Maybe they're not supposed to be evil. Damn, everyone is outside while it's raining. I was glad Professor Weasley oh. asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the oh. only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Oh, Can I walk in this? Oh, it's not as nice as Call of Duty. Call of Duty follows your entire trail. And then we'll have ripples going all the way outwards as well. Can I get these butterflies? That'd be cool. Of Weasley, she seems to take quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. Oh? Huh? I'm still surprised that a professor would Sorry, Sebastian. Given my detention record. Damn it, there's always a lock. Time in detention, do you? Oh wee! Sebastian, come here! I found a horse! I found a thestral! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at this! This game is so beautiful! Why are you watering the plants? It's raining right now, man! It makes no sense. Wait, is that rain on the top of the mountain? <laughs> ah! Ah, that... less nice, but everything else is beautiful. Holy... Holy schmoly. This trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. You're welcome. You owe me. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Mm. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace wing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Huh. What are these? Duck flowers? Oh my gosh, can I like explore all the way over there and stuff later? That would be so cool. 
Like those things? Whatever that is. Huh? What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Whoa. You certainly don't see that every day. Oh, oh, I gotta take a screenshot of this. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Oh, I saw Harry. I was just taking pictures. Prance hoop and sugarfoot. What's that? Ah! Oh God. Oh, that's a daddy. Okay. Did I? Oh. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I didn't mean to fall off the bridge. Please, wait. Oh my god, I can just Still harvest everything. Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Hmm. Wait. Hi. Have you had much of a chance to explore the craft? Yeah. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Ooh. Loads to see. Places Trooms. To oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't oh my god! All my secrets now, can I? You Wait, can I like it? you become so good at dueling. Can I kill it? Can I use it for food or something? Where'd it go? Oh my god, I got ran over by the cart! I don't know where it went! I didn't do anything. They're murderers! This is beautiful, holy... Wait, what are my frames at? I'm still getting, uh... 120 frames. Yeah, I'm actually not stuttering at all. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first time you think. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Hmm. What is that? I thought he had, like, an owl on him. Oh, is this a viewpoint? Wow. I'm so happy I, I'm not experiencing any of the stutters and stuff. I'm so glad I upgraded my PC, man. <laughs> He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Just in time for, for the game. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new huh? fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything huh? right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Are you what drunk? Did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. The heck? Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, and he's obviously had too much of it. It's those I've freaking leaping toadstone uh, toadstools. <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite yeah. the My sister Anne is lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? Can I do this? Oh, I can. Rather. Wait, does that not work? Not well enough, oh, it doesn't. He's got a sister. Oh! My mom wants to go to Vancouver during like the cherry blossom times to see the cherry blossom. Or Toronto, wherever has cherry blossoms. Catch ya! Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, wait, there's so many. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but 
there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Yeah, I did get a chance to see cherry blossoms in Toronto. I think magnolias look better. Like, I went to Niagara Falls and I'm like, damn, this tree looks so much nicer. The magnolias. So like this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes, some Disney other seeds, bits. Some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Mm. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Brimming with different site shops and other point of interest that you can navigate. Damn, that's quite a bit. Huh. So these are prob probably my quests. Yeah. Oh. Just grabbing some lady's random purse of money. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Off on another adventure, are we? Like, they're doing this in broad daylight. Is this okay? Oh. Well, this is so cool. Um. I think I might call it here, though, because I'm really hungry, so... I might just stop here for today, and I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow if I can. Just a quick piece of advice, if your gear bag is full, opening a large chest will make the item inside disappear. Oh, we have inventory s limitations? Oh, it's 14 gear in total. Okay, wait. Okay, question. Um, so let's just say I sell some of my gear, right? So let's just say I sell the traditional school robe. Do I lose that as a uh, cosmetic? You know, you guys an appearance. You can still use the appearance. Okay, perfect. So I should just keep on doing my quests and stuff until I can sell, and then before I start picking up a bunch of stuff, I can only pick up six more items. Yo, wait, these are kind of sick. <laughs> I like them. I actually might keep these on. I really like those. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Well, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, so far this game is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. And for y'all that aren't... Um, that don't have the deluxe version, well, I guess it comes out tomorrow. So I hope everyone has a lot of fun as well. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow as well and we'll probably do some maple story again so that i can get some haste training in and then also come back to hogwarts again um but otherwise yeah that's gonna do it for me have a very very good rest of your day guys thanks for hanging out bye bye i'm gonna send us over um, they, they're not playing, they're not playing Hogwarts, but 15 minutes left to last draw. Damn, really? You want me to stay on 15 minutes for you? I'm okay with that. 
For Mellow Jello? For Mellow? Stay on a little bit for Mellow. 12 minutes? Okay. I'll stay on for you. Um, What did I need? That's a Gryffindor move. <laughs> Wait, why not a Hufflepuff move? Why can't Hufflepuffs do that? Uh, oh yeah, also again, um... Tomorrow is gonna be the last... Oh shit. Yeah, tomorrow's the Discord movie night. Oh yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do episode 5 Discord movie night. For episode 5, I will be streaming it. I'm pretty sure... I can stream it with Crave. If not, then um, mind. Mellow's got our back. So, Hufflepuff, patience and loyalty. That's right. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look I love his hand. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's have Let's a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Small potion station. I mean, it's free, so I guess I have to. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Use its pot to grow all sorts of magical plants. If you're interested. Oh my god! Take a look around at the rest of my uh, I can't afford it, man. You're too expensive. Well, I mean, there's no point in, like, keeping this. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's really no point in keeping any of these since they're all just worse. Nice. Wow, I just doubled my money. Yo, I haven't saved in like a very long time. Oh my god. Is there no autosave? Like... Oh no, there is. <laughs> I was looking at that and I'm like, I last time I saved was an hour and a half ago. If I crashed, would have lost an hour and a half of um work progress. Need to save more often. Keep you coming back to hugs mean. Hmm. What the heck? Does this guy not care? Normally games don't crash. Oh, Cod will would like to speak to you, Jug. <laughs> this enchanted staircase in tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here at Thomas Brown sells a variety of written products, including spell crafts. I see a bunch of chests there that look interesting. Tarkov crashes a lot. Ooh. 
Yeah, Mello, just let me know when you uh, got your drop. Wait, why is he just like, oh yeah, come into my room, no biggie, man, no biggie. You don't even care, I just went in the private room. Okay, uh, my wand. And this place is really cool. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. How do you know who I am? Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. How do you know? Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of How course, does he know? You'll have heard of the Ollivanders. Is it because sure. he has finest one He's a wizard? In the world. You're a it's wizard, Gerbold Ollivander. You. You're a wizard. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? I'll take the same one that uh, Dumbledore's uses. Uh, Thank you. No, no, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, mine should be 13 three, well, go ahead, three quarters. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh my god! Okay, now that one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yeah. Yes. A rare, a rare wood, wood, 13, 13 and 3 quarter inches, inches dragon inches. heart string. Let's give this one a the try. The same one that Voldemort, Dumbledore, and Hermione use. Oh! Oh, God! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. What? <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. I thought it was that one. Flexing. Um, where are you? I just Perhaps remember 13 and three quarters. I don't remember the other ones. There you are. The other traits in my wand. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, well, this has to be. <laughs> Wood type silver lime unicorn hair, slightly yielding, thirteen and three quarters inches. Um. Oh, so this is just. The color. How intriguing. Change the appearance of some stuff. Okay, when I was a kid, I found this really nice stick and then I painted it white, but my dad threw it out, which is really sad. But I used to use that and I pretended it was like a wand and a cane and everything, really. Curious indeed. I don't know what I like. This reminds me of that. How intriguing. It just looks so dinky, you know? <laughs> I'm like I should I should get this because of my childhood. That one stick, but it's so ugly. <laughs> That's so basic. This one's basic but cool. 
I don't really like this. It just looks like a, a spear. God, I don't know what I want. You can find handles later on to customize How intriguing. it. Oh, no, no, no. I need to ch keep that. Because this is what uh, the quiz told me. Curious indeed. I'll just pick this. There's like a backstory to it. So even though it's ugly, it's charming. It's unique, uniquely ugly to me. I have to hold it. What do you think? Oh, it's very ugly. <laughs> Hi, Worldwide Ewan. Thank you so much for the fall. I appreciate it. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Oh, nice, Mo. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hmm. Thanks, man. Let's rob him dry now. Is there anything else? That's it? Wait, you're so poor. That's all I can take? Nothing else? You just had a charming house cloak? That's it? Damn. Welcome back, Nico. Okay, what did I earn? Ooh, I don't like how that looks. That's okay. This cloak. Yeah, the white one looks better still. Oops. Wait, I don't like this. Okay, so I want the regular robe. Actually, the yellow and the red kind of match. I'm feeling more Hufflepuff by the day. Yeah, you know? I'm kind of enjoying that. Yeah, let's just... Let's, let's look like this. I want a hat, though. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. We'll find a hat eventually. Beautiful. Alright, now that's gonna do it for me then for today. I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Hippie, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I am actually gonna uh, send us over to a... Um, so... If we watch just 20 minutes of this channel, um, Avalanche Software, so these are the people who actually created Hogwarts Legacy. I think if you just watch 20 minutes of, uh, of their stream, then you can get a special cloak or something. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll send you guys over there instead. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try to do the morning again. Start off with Maple Story, and then we'll move into the game, and then afterwards we'll do Discord Movie Night for Episode Five of The Last of Us. Join the Discord, get notifications on when we're live, and also just to join. 
the watch party as well. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Peace out.